Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Big Help Stadium, the home of Southport Football Club. But for tonight, it's the home of Everton under-21s. It's Premier League 2 action on a Friday night. Everton welcoming Arsenal. Graeme Stewart, my co-commentator this evening. Last time out, the Toffees won against Norwich City. A good Norwich City side, two goals to one, and it was a good performance. Hopefully, that's the platform. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about momentum. You know, keep going. It's been a difficult start to the season, but uh, 2-1 will boost the lads. Um, it was a decent performance, as you said. Jack Harrison made his first 45 yeah. minutes for Everton as well, and we saw him follow that up with a, a really good performance at Aston Villa as well. So the guys that are playing here tonight, he's the sort of guy you've got to look at, Jack Harrison. Can, can I replicate that? So all important tonight to go, put on a good performance. Whatever level you're at, Graham, how important is momentum in football? Well, it is. It's, 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 I, I've spoken to a lot of people over the last week about our first team and, like, you know, what, what sort of side were we going to put out at Aston Villa and what have you. And everybody talks about momentum. Let's keep winning games. Let's, you know, keep keep that momentum going. Because as a, if you're a, a centre forward, for argument's sake, you're scoring goals. You want to keep scoring goals. You mm. want to keep going out on that pitch week in, week out, day in, day out. Keep, you know, keep scoring goals. And it's the same for for anybody. If you if you if you're playing well, you want to just keep playing football. That's what you're paid to do. Yeah. Don't want to be rested. All this nonsense about resting <laughs> and squad rotation. Play the game. Let's get out there and play football. Paul will be looking tonight. His boys up against a good Arsenal side for his his experienced players, if like Uriah and Ashley, your Kyle Johns, Francis Okoronko has had a couple of seasons. Yeah, they're the players that have got to come in and and, and, and get the game by the scruff of the neck. Yeah, of course, uh, that, that, that's vitally important. More whatever you know side you have to put out. Um, the under 18 players are pushed into the 21. Sometimes the 16s are pushed into the 18s. But when you have got the young lads in, they're looking up to you as the senior players in this 21 side. Like you say, the Ockham Roncos of this world. Go out there, show me what it's all about. Lead by example, do the things that are right and what makes you want to be an Everton player because this will be tough tonight. Yeah. You don't get you don't get bad Arsenal mm. play, uh, yeah. teams. You don't yeah. get Arsenal bad players whatsoever. So, you know, they're warming up behind us there and uh, there'll, there'll be a decent test for us tonight. As were Norwich City at Walton Hall Park last week, but Everton won the game by two goals to one and here's the pick of the action. Uh, Walton Hall Park. Norwich City in their familiar canary yellow shirt, green shorts. Our visitors will line up as follows. Number one, Vincente Rea. Number two, Quinley Welch. Number three, Charlie Wilson. Number four, Jaden Warner. Wilson. Play again. Right to Kiarte. Harrison then makes way forward into the penalty area. Cassia Kiarte takes on the full oh, back. Referee. Oh, referee. Penalty. penalty. It had to be. Finley Welsh it was. 18 years of age sliding in on Katia Kiarte. And the referee had no hesitation. Didn't even have to give himself thinking time. Pointed straight to the spot. And a great chance for Everton. Now he's got two. Really good penalty. Low to the keeper's right. No chance for the keeper. And the Toffees take the lead. Yeah, good finish. Good finish. Confident finish. Plenty of pace on it. Keeper went the right way, but uh, it was tucked away in the corner. Be a great bit this. Not so yeah, really it would be. I'd, yeah. I'd be made up for the lads if they can just <laughs> hang on. They've had some. Uh, some good victories at Norwich. Yeah. Awkward one for the goalkeeper that. And there's a chance for Everton. And there's the second goal. Jensen Mekoff was onto it like a flash. A defensive lapse for Norwich City. And it's been punished by Jensen Mekoff. And 60 seconds into the second period. Just what we wanted. A second goal. Here we go. Risky business in this weather. Jensen, it's got under the keeper's foot, to be honest, yeah. but uh, yeah, Jensen's finished it really, really well. But he's got plenty of space on this right hand side, he wasn't picked up at all. Deep cross from Brook. Tails for handball, and Norwich City have scored.
Gakpo. And that'll do. And that will be it. Any word will do for Onyango. We've had nearly five minutes of the added four. There is the final whistle. It's a terrific win for Everton. That's not. Yeah, it was an hard fought uh, win in the end. But overall, a thoroughly enjoyable game. Everton needed a good performance and needed three points, and we got both. Everton 2, Norwich City 1. An excellent win there against Norwich City. Let's hope the lads can build on that tonight. A key player that we haven't mentioned yet, Graeme, is, is Cassie Okiarte. I suppose he's like a lot of wingers, and I suspect that you're part of the wingers' union, and <laughs> you fellas frustrate and excite in equal measures. It comes with the role, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a difficult position as a winger, and yeah. I, I always have sympathy with wingers because... If you're not giving people the width and you try and tuck in and try and get involved, they're turning around to you and shouting from the sides, give, you, give us your width and all that sort of stuff. And you're like, that. well, I'm, I'm not getting the ball. So it's, it's a tough one, but when you get the ball, you need to deliver. Mm. And Katia does he does that for me. Yeah. He's, a, he's a good size. He's got good pace. He's got good power. He's got a chance. Mm. I really genuinely think he's got a chance of, of being a, a, a first-team player for Everton Football Club in the future. Obviously, it's easy to say it right now, but he's got to kick on. Mm. And as a winger, and Katty is not afraid to, you need to put a shift in these days, don't you? You're expected to track yeah. back, you're expected to help either your full-back yeah. or your wing-back. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's all about partnerships. Your right back and your right winger, your left back, your left winger, all sorts of stuff like that. No, to work together. And if you you know you look at Pinar and Baines were probably our most famous partnership. Yeah, I mean yeah. they were absolutely incredible, weren't they? You know Baines would go down the outside. Pinar had the ability to come inside and then slip Baines in. It's all about that. It's not just about taking people on. It's about using your head. Mm. Use your head. Work out what's what. If they're doubling up on you, they were unplayable at times, weren't they? Yeah, th th they were. So, but it's all about like using your brain. If you've got a football brain and they're doubling up on you, that means there's a spare man somewhere else. So play it inside and, and, and you know mix mix your game up and all that take people on because the next time the fullback knows that you can beat him mm. so you get a bit more space and stuff like that so it's just using your noddle and you know <laughs> a little bit of experience use your noddle Katia well I'll tell you what let's hear now from Katia Kiate. Touched by a will be. A bit of help from somewhere. Good ball. Katia Kiate. Chance. Kiate finds the back of the net. Wonderful moment for the youngster. Wonderful celebration as well. And we have the first goal of the summer, and it's gone to Katia Kiate. Katia Kiate, they're bound to be one of the key players tonight for Paul Tate. And just a few moments ago here at the Big Help Stadium, ahead of tonight's game against Arsenal in Premier League 2, I caught up with the under-21s manager, Paul Tate. Paul, the lads should take a lot of confidence from the last Premier League 2 game against Norwich. It was a great win. Yes, it was, Darren. It was um, a really good performance, really good team performance. Um, and ended up in a, in, a, in a good result, which was really good. Um, and I, I've, seen, I've seen it in the week's training. I've seen... You know, confidence has risen from that. Um, so, yeah, we're hoping to carry that in it tonight. Is it a case of, lads, you've set your standards now, let's keep it going? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think everyone was happy with the way that they played and uh, Norwich are a good team, so it was really good, a good team performance and a good win. So, yeah, a um, few people set their standards individually and, and, and as a team also, yeah. Bits and pieces to take as well, I thought, from the Papa John's game, well, the EFL trophy games as they are now. 
the Burton Albion game could have run away from the lads, but they really stuck at it, didn't they? Yes, that was the main positives, Darren. You know, that resilience and fight that they showed um, against the men's team. And we, were, we were delighted the way that they stood up, especially second half. You know, the commitment that they showed. Um, so if you can get to them commitment levels tonight, combined with, you know, um, the tactical and the technical know-how that they showed against Norwich, then you know we, we could do really well. Billy Crellin back in the side tonight. We're not, we're not short of good goalkeepers at this level, are we? No, we, you know, uh, Baz has done really well when he's played, and and then Billy's come in and, and done really well for us in, in the games that he's played. So there's healthy competition, which is good. Um, so yeah, looking forward to watching Billy play. Luke Butterfield once again with the armband tonight. He's done smashing lately, considering he's been out for so long. Yes, he has. He's been out so long, um, and you know we weren't quite sure whether he was going to be up to speed or not. Um, we feel he is now. He's got them minutes under his belt, so I'm um, looking for a good performance from Luke tonight. I'm, I'm sure he'll be uh, pushing the team. And Kyle Jones back in the side as well, which must please you. Yes, got Kyle. Um, not sure he last, but we'll um, we'll see how we'll see how long he, he lasts. And um, you know he's, he's a bit ex he's experienced at this level, Darren. So he's really going to help the younger boys around him, um, particularly Roman Dixon, who's on that side with him. Another year or 18 months does make a difference, doesn't it? You're saying he's experienced, Carl John. He's still yeah. only a young boy, but it does make a heck of a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, I think you see it. I think you see some odd results at under 21 level sometimes, and people are a little bit shocked by the results. And normally it's because of that that experience gap, that age gap. And of course, it happened the other night in the Papa John's with some teams, you know, coming up really short against league teams because of that experience. So yeah, I think it's important to, to get that balance. Um, you know, we want we want the young boys coming through and, and learning from from the older lads like Kyle, who set the example. Um, so it's good to have him back. You never really know what you're going to get from the opposition at under 21 level these days, but you can be pretty certain it'll be a good Arsenal side, whatever they put out, Paul. Yeah, and I know what's coming. We, we've watched them; they're a, they're a very good team, Arsenal. Um, really good players, which is expect from a club like Arsenal. So it's going to be a really tough test. Um, but we're confident. Um, we're really happy where we are in terms of getting players back, like you've said. So we're going to have a real good go tonight, Darren. And just finally, hopefully that Norwich win can be a platform now, and, and the boys can really push on. Yeah, hopefully starting tonight. Um, you know, we'll cliche take one game at the t as it comes, but it really is because you know it's Arsenal in town. So we've got to, you know, roll our sleeves up. We've got to show that fight and desire that we showed in midweek against Burton in the second half. And again, like I said, you know, align that to our techniques and, and attitude and, and really try and be a, th a threat in the final third as well when we get them chances. Thanks very much, Paul. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Darren. Good evening everybody and welcome to the Big Help Stadium, the home of Southport Hague Avenue by any other name. And it'll always be Hague Avenue to the likes of uh, myself and Graham Stewart alongside me for the uh, commentary because we're old school diamond, aren't we? We certainly are. Sorry, I'll just let you finish your massive cheese roll. <laughs> Old school being, <laughs> you have a little bit of a sandwich before you go on air, but I was slightly 20, 20 to 30 seconds out. I do apologise to everybody. Plays it in the tunnel, ready to emerge. Everton under-21s against Arsenal under-21s, and hopefully the feel-good factor that uh, around the football club at the moment can continue. A couple of fantastic away wins for the first team. A really, really good away win. Sorry, home win for the under-21s against Norwich City last weekend. They'll be at the under-21s, lost against Burton Albion in the week in the EFL Trophy, but uh, not too unexpected. Burton played a very strong side, very big side. And to their credit, Paul Tate's young men really stuck to their task and gave as good as they got.
towards the end as the haunting sound of Z cars echoes around the largely empty, you have to say, big help stadium here in Southport. And just before the players line up, it's a topic of conversation that you and I have had many times, Dan, and it's great that the players are playing here at Southport inside a proper stadium, but it hasn't ignited the public as I thought. I thought that the, we've just loads of Evertonians up here, as well you know. And the 21s aren't overly well supported, are yeah, I mean, I live up this area of the woods, as it were, and um, there's plenty of Evertonians here. Um, but it's a sparse crowd for yeah, some reason, is, yeah. guys. I mean, it's it's difficult. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you can't keep putting your hand in your pocket week in, yeah. week out. You know, it's tough. People are working their socks off during the week and, you know, what's your Friday choice? Friday night, it? Probably yeah. doesn't help. Watch, what's your choice? You know, do you, do you save your money for the first team games? Of course you do. Have you got spare money to just rock out and uh, watch the under 21s? Difficult, but uh, and like you say, Friday night, everybody yep. they've worked hard all week. They, yep. they like a little night out, perhaps. Yep, absolutely. There you go. There's the Everton side. Billy Krellin restored to the starting 11. That's uh, no reflection on how Jack Barrett did, by the way, in the last game. Paul Tate able to shuffle his pack as often as he wants with regards to goalkeepers. Got Fraser Barnsley, of course, in the mix as well. Kyle John back. They're using him quite sparingly till he's uh, fully recovered and fully up to speed. And there's the Arsenal under-21 side that are currently third in the table. And as you said in the uh, pre-match interview that we did by the side of the goal a few moments ago, Diamond, it doesn't matter what level you play Arsenal, you're not going to get a bad side, are you? No, you're not. You're not. It's as simple as that. They've, uh, they've got a great scouting system. They get good players in at whatever level they play at. And uh, you can tell by the, you know, you, you look at the first team players and the way they play the football. There's a, there's a certain way they want every team to play. The competition for young players must be absolutely fierce in the capital city. Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, yeah. Crystal Palace, Fulham. Yeah, it's tough. It's really, really tough. I mean, that's why I say it's, I, I always think it's tougher for a southern side to win the league. Yeah than the northern side purely because of what you've just said yeah. you've got the Chelsea's the Tottenham's the Arsenal's the Brentford's Crystal Palace etc etc they all they're not they're not all derbies in such a you know in the sense of it but they pretty much are in, yeah you know in, yeah. in another way as in London derby so, so Brentford in the mix now as well. yeah of course yeah I mean it, it, it's tough it's really not tough I think it's I think it's really difficult for a southern side to win the league we are nearly ready to go here at the big help stadium Kyle John will kick off for Everton. Everton against Arsenal on a Friday night on the official Everton YouTube channel. Premier League 2, our referee tonight. Just uh, blows his whistle, Paul Marsden, and we are underway. One ball forward, and the first throw in is after two and a half seconds. Looking for his side to build on that good win against Norwich City, but he knows it'll be tough here tonight. And the up and under will bounce obligingly into the arms of Ovi Yehere, 20 year old Arsenal goalkeeper. They've got a few 20 year olds. Oh, that's an awful ball! Katia Kiyate inside the penalty area. Oh, oh my goodness you have me! To score, Katia. He's hit the crossbar. Goodness me! And he had to score. It was a gift on a plate. 40 seconds into the game, and Katia Kiyate, with the goal at his mercy, created the space for himself. And he will wonder, as we are, how he missed. He will be unbelievably disappointed Darren because that was a wonderful opportunity I mean ball. This it's is just ball. lazy it's just lazy football you know number 10 it's Jimmy Gower who plays the ball across the box I mean that dude's picking out doesn't need to try and burst the neck Katia does he no I mean he, it, Katia takes a touch to his left hand side and he's just got to pass it into the bottom corner and it's it's a disappointing finish from yeah. what was an incredible opportunity early in the game well, Everton have looked the gift horse in the mouth there the offside flag goes up and Arsenal have weathered the early storm, but what a start that would have been. That would have been one of the quickest under-21 goals we've seen in a long time. Here you go, Graham. This is the angle. I mean, it does there you well go. Like, so he takes a... He takes a it, I mean, everything he does is perfect, bar the shot. Mm. Keep it low, drill it low into the bottom corner. Here we go. First touch, flicks it past the... But drill it low the yeah. other side. That's the way forward there. I'm going to let off. That is for Arsenal and Jimmy Gower. 
who signed a professional contract in the summer is the most relieved man in the seaside resort of Southport tonight because that was an awful ball played it blind got caught out but unfortunately for Everton Jimmy Gower didn't pay the ultimate price well I'll be on Katia's mind for 10 minutes or so Graham well, as a young poss player, possibly, possibly. But I mean, you'd like to think not. I mean, he, he, he'll know. He'll look back at that and think, "I should have scored. I've got to score. I've got, I've got to go low. I can't, I can't hit the bar. I've got to, at, at the very, very least, you've got to make the key goalkeeper work." Yeah. And he didn't do that. He, 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 he should have scored. But look, he's a good player. I like yeah. him. He's got plenty of attributes, and uh, he'll bounce back he'll, on that. He'll kick on from here. Could he have got a bubble like you did at Wembley? No. <laughs> <laughs> I walked on the pitch a little bit earlier and it's, it's absolutely pristine. <laughs> no, no bubbles at Southport. Maybe at Wembley you get the odd one, but not at Southport. Yes, Ovi Eheri, the Arsenal goalkeeper, right footed down the middle, aiming for Kay and Edwards, headed away by Mackenzie Hunt. Butterfield can't get a flick on it. Jack Henry Francis trying to squeeze it forward. Good pressing from Everton. Now then, Chance. there's another opportunity. Okoronko this time, through on goal. Okoronko, good footwork. Oh, and he hasn't scored. Arsenal scrambling away. And Everton, inside the three and a half minutes, should be 2-0 up. Daz, I'm not sure what he was doing. He, he, got, he got himself through. He's clean through on goal. He, he, he touched it out of his, on the right-hand side. And I'm thinking to myself, shoot. Go. He's done well there. I think he tried to be too clever. Here yeah, we go. So. Touch, touch to the right. Shoot trying to be too clear. He didn't have to take people on. There was no reason mm. whatsoever to have to take anybody on. Keep it palmed it away. Well, Paul Tate will be delighted with the start his team have made, but he'd be frustrated that we're not a goal well, up look, already. at the end of the day, I mean, two absolute guilt edge chances, and it's not like we've created them. Arsenal yeah. have given yeah. them to us. Yeah. So, you know, when you look at situations like that and you're looking at nil-nil and we should be 2-0 up, it's frustrating for a coach. Billy Krellin. And launch Everton forward again. Powerful headed away. Tyler Onyango, it breaks nicely for Onyango. This is what you want to see. Powering forward. It's a wonderful side. Tyler Onyango, then the ball gets stuck underneath his feet. Feeds it wide to Kyle John. Back inside the penalty area. Nodded down to Mekhoff. Just couldn't get his shot away. What a start this is by Everton. Tyler Onyango, that's what you want to see from Onyango. We break off because Mackenzie Hunt's got the chance to get the ball in the penalty area, which he does, and it's sliced behind by Taylor Foran for a corner for Everton. Four minutes 45. I mean, it's an incredible first five minutes of this game, and, and, and for a five minutes where we should have been at least two goals up, and that was another wonderful opportunity as well. I think Tyler probably picked out the wrong pass there. He should have probably put Onyango in. Mackenzie Hunt plays it back to Metcalf. Jensen Metcalf plays the penalty. What an effort that was! Parried away by the goalkeeper. But I tell you what, three attempts on goal already from Everton. It was straight at the goalkeeper. It was a save you'd expect him to make. But I tell you what, Jensen Metcalf gets hold of this, doesn't he? Yeah, just pulled back to the edge of the box. One, one touch. Gives himself a yard. Good strike. Fortunately for him, straight at the goalkeeper, comfortable for the keeper. It's out of play. Ockham Ronco, I mean, the lines are. Is the, li the line sure here? Yeah? <laughs> that was out of play. And the referee it's makes a, an interception. It's only a yard out, linesman. <laughs> yeah, the ball, the ball earlier, though, should have been played to uh, Ockham Ronco. He, he'd have been clean through. You want, that's what you want to see from Tyler, isn't it? Driving yeah, forward. Yeah, bursting like that. through. That's what I want to see from all of my midfield players. Like, you know, get the ball, drive forward, like, be positive. Mm. I don't want to see you going sideways all the time. I want to see you being positive. Astley to Roman Dixon. Back to Ryan Astley again. Butterfield takes the safety option and plays it back to Billy Krellin. Well, if you're only just joining us, if you're waiting for the kettle to boil, you've missed an opening five minutes, the likes of which we've not seen for a long, long time. Katia Chiarze, after 30 seconds, given a guilt-edged opportunity, he hit the bar. Francis Okoronko skipped through but couldn't finish. And Jensen Metcalf stung the keeper's hands from 25 yards. The remaining 84 minutes have got a lot to live up to. Roman Dixon had a good game against Burton Albion at the weekend, and that's a great sight as well. He just under-hits the pass, unfortunately. But, uh, 
on the front foot diamond and Paul Tate really apart from a little bit more composure in the final tenth of the pitch Paul Tate can yeah. ask for much more no, Tate will be delighted with the way mm. the players have started this game they've got Arsenal on the back foot and Roman Dixon there driving through and then he was a little bit unfortunate trying to pick out Jensen Metcalf with the through ball but it was cut out well by the centre half but it's been a really good start by our players Nano Souza it's a nice ball on the far side to pick out James Sweet Walters back to James Sweet again plays it in field to Abraham Nano Souza again Picks out Cozier Dubry, taking on Roman Dixon. You're not going to beat Roman Dixon for pace. And it's a corner kick for Arsenal. But that's where your education comes through. You, you know, you're talking yeah. about the players and stuff like that. You're not beating Roman Dixon for play for pace. If you can play one twos around him, maybe you've got a chance, but not for pace. Not Roman, one on one. Roman's Roman's as quick as it comes. Corner kick for Arsenal. The uh, Jack Carr end at the Big Help Stadium. Deep. Headed back across goal, headed over the crossbar by Taylor Foran. The goal kick for the Toffees. Yeah, well he'd peel away there, Kayan Edwards. Yeah. Peeled away at the far post. No one marked him and he free header across the box, but fortunately for us there was no real pace on it. It was a pretty straightforward There's one. There's a chance for Francis Okoronko. He's got to hit it before then. Yeah. He took too long. Looking for the Hollywood goal there, uh, Frankie. Here he is again. Comes off on Louis, the captain, breaks fortuitously for Arsenal, but again they give it away. And Katia Kiate just curls it straight to the goalkeeper. But uh, not used to seeing an Arsenal side quite so careless in possession. Yeah, I've not been very impressed whatsoever in this first nine minutes of the game by Arsenal. I, I, I expected a whole lot more from them, if I'm honest with you. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's early on and we'll see what space. happens. Here we go. Oh. Mario Cozia Dubri. Scampering forward. Cross comes in from Nino Souza. Billy Krellin gathers it, knocks it long. That's a soccer long quote. Pushes the defender over. No free kick given. Arsenal give it away again. Katia Chiate picks it up, Arsenal still appealing for a free kick, couple of step overs from Katia and he wins the corner, well done but Arsenal are a little bit annoyed that they didn't get a free kick there but I want to see more of that from oh, Frank Absolutely, you know, Ocon Ronco there, like, that's, he's, he's got great physical attributes and he should use them and he did do in that, that situation Arsenal looking for the free kick, it was never ever a free kick no. the ball falls to, uh, falls to Chiate He's got to do better for me, Daz. Really? Yeah, absolutely. He, he's put himself in a situation. Look, look, there's, there's no way on planet Earth you can score from there. There's nobody else. No one else. It, it, we've broken so quick, there's nobody mm. else in the box. So you've got to cut inside. Give yourself the best opportunities to score. Corner kick comes in. Keeper comes for it. Misses it. I think it was cleared away, you know, by an Everton player. I think it was. I think Ryan Astley... Uh, Nodded it away, the ball's back inside the penalty area. If this game ends nil-nil, I will be amazed. <laughs> it bounces off Eli Campbell. I'd like to see the replay of that again, and I'm sure we will, but I thought the corner came in, it was a peach of a corner, keeper missed it, and I think Ryan Astley, in trying to head it goalwards, has actually <laughs> cleared his yeah, lines. I, I, hopefully we'll see that again, but I, th I totally agree with you, Daz. My first impression was Ryan has headed it away. <laughs> Dixon to Astley. To Billy Jimmy Martin, our former kit man, is watching the game. Diamond, he's matches us from his uh, palatial home in Spain, and he'll uh, he'll be enjoying this start. He might enjoy Francis Ocaronco here as well, inside the penalty area. Ocaronco onto his left foot, blocked by Tyler Foran. Tyler on Yango challenging for the ball, can't win it. And Arsenal can clear their lines. Yeah, we obviously send our very best wishes yep. to Jimmy, an absolute legend of Everton Football Club. And Paul Mary. Paul Mary, Jimmy Jimmy Martin out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> Having to put up with him 24-7. Goodness <laughs> great. No one deserves that. <laughs> he'll have all, he, Mary will have her name on the back of all their dresses now, won't she? <laughs> He's got nothing to do. He'll name, he'll name them all up. All the best, Jimmy and Mary. 
let's hope the Toffees get a win tonight and a win tomorrow. Mackenzie Hunt plays it back to Billy Krellin. He empties it forward towards the halfway line. Okoronko. It's a good battle that Okoronko and Tyler Foran. Jensen Mekoff jumped a little bit too early. It's a little bit scrappy in the centre of the park. Arsenal beat Manchester United 4 2 last time out. They are currently third in the 26 team Premier League 2 table. The win against Norwich pushed Everton up five places. We were at the bottom, which just shows you what a win can do. And the first team have proved that diamond, what a win can do just to lift the entire football club. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, we covered both the Brentford and Aston Villa games, yep. guys, didn't we? And the Brentford game, I, I, that, that's probably the first game since Crystal Palace at home when we won 3-0 that I've sat there and felt comfortable. Yeah, you, were, I, I, you weren't nervous, were I you? I wasn't nervous whatsoever. I was nervous at Villa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. I wasn't nervous at Brentford on the Saturday, but I was nervous at uh, Villa on the Wednesday night. Um, but two different teams for me. Villa are, Villa are far better than Brentford. Yeah. But it, it's good. It's good. It's nice to see a couple of wins on the spin, a bit of momentum great opportunity for us tomorrow to to go to Goodison Park the place will be bouncing we've yep. got a nice draw in the in the uh, last 16 of the yep. Caribou Cup as well so all of a sudden there's a little bit of excitement flying yep. around as opposed to doom and gloom which is let's be honest has been yep. flying around for the last few years a week is a long time in football, as I said to Sean Dyche when I interviewed him after the Aston Villa game just shows you what two away wins two away wins in five days here comes Mon Louis to Sousa. Put in by Kyle John. I think Kyle John will settle right midfield down, or do you think he will be a right back? Personally, I, I mean, this will be the first time I've seen Kyle look in right midfield. Yeah. I mean, he's a busy player. I mean, he yeah. likes to get himself forward, so he, he, he's comfortable on the right hand side. I think he's offside there. Yeah, he would have been. He would have been if, the, if it hadn't been cut out. But it's difficult. You can't, you know, to, to go from playing fullback. On Yango to Here Kyle John. Oh, back to On Yango again. Can he produce? On Yango wins a corner. Yeah, just going back to that dazzle. I mean, to you know, when you played the most of your time at, at fullback and then you get pushed into midfield, it's a totally different cat of fish. Totally, totally different ways you have to be on the pitch and. You know, in and around the performance, but mm. hopefully Carl will learn quick. It might just be, it might be the making of him. We'll never know. <laughs> Ryan Astley there, just cleared, cleared one off the line for Arsenal. Yep, well done, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good lad, Ryan. Well done. Corner kick, right hand side for the Toffees. Probably a quarter of an hour, and it's been some quarter of an hour, by the way. He's flown as well. Mm. Mackenzie Hunt, we'll swing this in. In it comes, headed away by. Tyler Foran will be picked up by Mario Cozier Dubry. And Everton have got to be wary of the counter attack here. And Kyle John just does enough to halt Cozier Dubry in his path. That'll be thrown for Arsenal. Yeah, he done well there, Kyle. Just make sure he's shepherded him one way down the right hand side there because there was a few players breaking away on this left hand side, but there was never an opportunity for the player to switch mm. play. Kyle did well. You know, Sousa. Pressing well, Everton, aren't we? Yeah. Well drilled. Looking, mm. looking good. Looking really good, shape-wise. I mean, Arsenal really haven't offered us anything yet. Nope. I mean, they've, they've really been quite poor, in my opinion, for a side that sit third in the league. Mackenzie Hunt plays it back to Aslick. And Astley will play it back to... Billy Krellin, who recently signed a new deal at Everton. Mark of the faith that the football club has in him. Sloppy pass from Roman Dixon. It's better than that. Well, it's a poor ball from Roman there. But, you know, not, not just the fact that he went out of play, but even at the pace that he played it in. I mean, with his full-back, mm. the full-back straight, in, you know, up next to Carl Jong as well. He'd have done unbelievable to get out of that situation, Carl. Ibrahim to... Tyler Foran, the big Arsenal number four, and he's the one who Frank Okoronkwo wrestled to the ground. And if Francis Okoronkwo read my notes, he wouldn't wrestle him to the ground because Tyler Foran is a black belt in kickboxing <laughs> <laughs> for a hobby. Be careful, Frankie. Tell you what, great player in the four. 
<laughs> I won't be saying anything bad about him. Coming for the Gunners. Somehow we still await the first goal. Edwards. Decent switch to Walters. Infield to Henry Francis. Jack Henry Francis wide to Walters again. Infield to Ibrahim. Nice first touch by Souza, but Kyle John and Roman Dixon between them should have the pace to deal with this. Cozy Dubry. And eventually it's Tyler on Yango who sticks a foot out. Yeah, you're quite right in what you said, Daz. I mean, to have the pace that those two boys, Kyle John and Roman Dixon on the right hand side, you, you, you're not going to be able to run them. You're going to have to be clever and play around them for Arsenal. Control, but the shot easily saved by Benny Crowley. Jimmy Gower, it was with the shot. Yeah, Jimmy he, Gower. He, he, he was the guy who set up Cassian in the third. The he was, seconds. yeah, absolutely. I mean, he got himself, he set himself up there, got himself half a yard, but the, the shot was powder puff, really. Didn't, uh, yeah. didn't cause Billy Crowley any possible problem whatsoever. Mill nil, a Southport. Concurs. Maybe a, a free kick. Maybe a tad harsh on him. Yeah, but, uh, he got a bit of a nudge. Didn't yeah, you a little bit of a thing? nudge. A little bit harsh on him, but it is what it is. Good news for us. We keep possession. Kenzie Hunt almost had his pocket picked. It does well in the end. Jensen. So does Jensen. Mekoff beats a couple of players. Now can he find Kyle John on this right hand side? Yes, he can. Kyle John picks it up. For Everton brings it in for a left footed low ball, not the best cross cleared by Arsenal. Everton will come again, moving the ball nice and quickly. The Toffees tonight, Butterfield, Campbell, on Yango, good ball, good pace on it. Roman Dixon crossed into the penalty area, Nobody, nobody's in there, and it goes out for an Everton throw. And I think on the far side, yes, oh, Graham. So, I, I, my biggest bugbear people don't football. gamble you've got to if you kitty Akerati, he has to gamble he has to come off the line on the left hand side and get himself in at the far post pomo does position of maximum opportunity the far <laughs> post yeah get yourself in there because you score goals you will score five or six goals a season as a wide player if you just get yourself in at the far post because balls get there and yep. you tap them in at the far post that ball was a fantastic delivery for a moment dixon yeah if Kittier's there, he's, he's, it's a goal. Going for Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah, Campbell done on the turn there, and the referee got that right. Free kick for the Gunners as we approach the midway point in this first half. Arsenal will have a free kick and. Tyler Foran. Offside. Lino. No. He's let him off. He's let him off, by the way. Sousa plays it back to Mon Louis. And again, same two. No way out for Arsenal. Ian Warren and Kevin Thelwell here tonight. Damn it, we were speaking to them before the uh, before the game. They'll be interested spectators tonight. We'll speak about that shortly because 
Cozy Dubry is offside. And it's, it's, it's great for these young players because Sean Dyche and Ian Wilm were at Burton Albion. Ian Wilm and Sean Dyche have been teared a few times as well. It's good, that, it's good for the young players because they'll see it as an, <clears throat> as an audition. Yeah, of course, and uh, it, it's important that you know the message gets sent down to the dressing room that the manager's here, that the assistant manager's here. You know, you need to go out and impress. I mean, there's opportunities. I mean, it's it's it, it's getting tougher at the moment. We we look a whole lot stronger as a as a group, first, first team wise. Yeah. yeah, first team wise, we look a whole lot stronger as a group. But there's still opportunity for these young players to to, to knock on the door and. You know, show Sean and show Ian and show uh, Stoney and stuff like that. Oh, there, there's an opportunity. I'm not sure that was a free kick, right? Referees, Maybe not. Referees, though, don't like it when you come from the side or the back, do they? Francis Ocaronco. Free kick. You know, just see the man there just before we brought that down on his chest, Mackenzie Hunt. He was in he was in the first team squad. Yeah. You know, he's on the bench the other week. Yeah, Case Bramford. Yeah. So it just shows that there there are there's, there's places there. If yeah. you can if you yeah. can show the manager and his assistant people and what have you that there's there's a hunger for you to get involved in the first team squad. I mean you might not be a starter, of course you're not. But travel with them. You know, get get used to being what it's all about, being a first team player and you know, showcasing yourself and what have you. And, and why not? Why why can't some one of the young lads burst through? Fans they, would love it. They do get benefit, don't they, from just travelling with the team and seeing other players conduct themselves. Here's Cozy Dubri. Trying to get across him, but he's forced away from goal. Back he goes to Ibrahim. Infield to Souza. On to Gower. Jack Henry Francis. And again, no way through. Everton keeping good shape. That's been a that's been a feature of the last two first team games, hasn't it? Diamond Everton have kept good shape. Yeah, two two different systems as well, which yep. has been pleasing as well. I'm sure the manager would be really pleased. I mean we play with a flat back four at Brentford and done really, really well. Limited Brentford to very, very rare chances. I mean I think Jordan's probably had the quietest game that he's had for years yep. probably. Um, down at Brentford and then we changed to a three at Aston Villa but again the discipline was there and everybody was doing the right things at the right times when the pressure was on in the second half when Villa made changes and pushed on as we knew they would we kept a good good shape that's what good teams do mm. Goes your doobry for Arsenal still waiting for the deadlock to be broken here but Everton have had chances Jimmy Gower to Henry Francis trying to play it in round the back but Keate was there and Eli Campbell thumps it forward towards Ocaronquo. Four and wins it in the air. Butterfield miscontrols it. Reaches Jimmy Gower. Wanted a bit of width on that right hand side, didn't get it. Comes in field to Henry Francis. He squeezes it wide to Cozy Adubri. The double battle surname brigade linking up well then, and Arsenal have a corner. That's probably their best bit of football of the game. It probably was as well, yeah. Uh, the ball found itself out on the left hand side, and he cuts inside. To be fair to Roman Dixon, he does really, really well because he knows for a fact that he can't take him on outside on the left hand, you know, on the left hand side there, Dubry. So he has to cut inside and he hits the shot with his right foot, but it's deflected wide and out for a corner by Roman Dixon, who covered it very, very well. Here we go. The replay. He knows he can't he can't take him on yep. on the left hand side. He knows he's too quick, Roman. Yep. So he cuts inside, which is fair enough. Right thing to do. Corner okay, kick comes in. Lastly gets ahead on it. Tyler Onyango will bring it away. Nobody forward, so Tyler's got to go by himself, and he pushes it on. Shows a little bit too much to Souza. He's going to try and get back at him, and he'll, he'll get a free kick. Maybe Arsenal full back. Well, that's the only disappointment. He, he done well there. He made up some ground and got us up the pitch, but it's too easy to give a free kick away. Comes a good 80 yards up the pitch there, Tyler. Once he uh, stretches his legs like that. Puts the afterburners on, he's difficult to keep up with, but uh, Lino Souza, the 18-year-old, born in Portugal, the Arsenal fullback, did his job.
Kyle John. Good play, Kyle John. Infield to Metcalf. Opens his body, tries the early ball. Worth a try, but comfortably cuts out. And then Tyler Foran sold a little bit short. He was clipped then by Jensen Metcalf, but uh, he needs to have a word with his teammates. Some of the midfield players at Arsenal are uh, giving their back four a couple of hospital balls here tonight, Diamond. Yeah, I've been I've been actually really disappointed with Arsenal. Yeah. I thought they'd give us a real stern test, but we've been by far the better side. And Arsenal have they've been poor, really poor. Just while there's a break in play, Diamond, you and I were uh, once again at the Blue Base, the Everton in the community facility this morning, where there was a most worthwhile event, Matt Millen Coffee Morning, to raise money for cancer charities that was attended by veterans of the armed forces that doesn't get better causes than that. No, it was fantastic. I mean, we, we love it. We, you know, the veterans, etc. I mean, the, the, the army guys and all that. Like, we, lo we love, there's so many fantastic... Uh, programs that Everton, yeah. Everton and the community do and today was a brilliant one for the veterans and Macmillan nurses and cancer research etc etc the only downside had, was that it was a bake-off yeah. and you and I had to taste all the I cakes. Mean, what, what's his name? <laughs> Who's the fellow who does bake-off? What's his name? <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't I even watch it, do you? Not at all. Oh, but the, the guy, I, did, I, wouldn't admit I, I know the guy. I can see him I can see him visually, but I can't remember his name. But I swear to I know how he feels now because it's, <laughs> it's Prue the lady and it Prue. To have to taste that amount of cakes. Yeah. It was <laughs> tough, wasn't it? It was tough going, I've got to be honest with you. It's especially when there's not one decent one amongst them. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few, by the way. No, they were. They were lovely. <laughs> and, and, and there was, a, we, you know, we had a bit of fun with yeah, it. It was a good day for the, an the, excellent cause. Yeah, absolutely. The most important thing is the Macmillan Halls yeah. for cancer and what have you. And uh, Once again, it was another fabulous event. It was. The Blue Base facility. And we've restarted, and we're going to stop again. Approaching the not far off the half hour mark here. Paul Tate will be by far the happier of the two coaches, but he will be undoubtedly damn and frustrated that his team are not at least a couple of goals. Well, he will be, and it just shows that those first couple of minutes there, where we had two absolute guilt edged chances to have, you know, gone ahead in the game and, and totally and utterly changed the, yeah. the way this game would have become. It's still nil-nil, and Arsenal, for all the fact that they're, in my opinion, bang average, yeah, here we it's go. still nil-nil. Here we go. Jimmy Gower leading the charge. Crozier Dubry. Souza on the overlap. Wasn't the best ball, and it was really well dealt with by Roman Dixon. The offside flag was up anyway, before Roman could sprint up the right-hand side. Again. And once again, Roman stuffs out the danger. I say, you've got to, as players, weigh things up. So if you're on the left, if you're the left back and the left wide player for Arsenal, you need to realise pretty quickly you're not going to be able to take on the right back for pace. Yeah. He's not, he's, you've got no chance of beating him. Yeah. Wait up, be a bit cleverer, mix your game up. Can you can you roll the ball into the centre forward? Can you go and get it back off him? Can you play little one twos? Anything, but try and take the full back on because you're not going to get any joy. Long ball forward is there. Over everybody. Zane one louis plays it across the back to Tyler Foran. Got some good loan experience for him with Hartlepool last season. But that was a tough loan spell for a London boy, Diamond. Hartlepool United. Yeah, but it makes you grow up. Yeah. Simple as that. Makes you grow up and realise how lucky you are to be at Arsenal Football Club for a start. What the real world's all about in terms of football. I bet, there, I bet there was a couple of real big six foot four tough yeah. so and so was up against them at, yeah. uh, at certain yeah. points as well so Absolutely. it makes you grow up it's i think it's the best thing get these yeah. boys out there's only there's, there's shelf life to 21's football metcalf okoronko back to tyler on yango back to okoronko again nice turn by okoronko tries to dribble his way through chasing it down with lino Souza, but Souza gets there first and uh, just eventually goes out of play throwing for everton Again, we're on the front foot. Yeah, we absolutely dominated the game for the most part. Yep. As you say, Daz, the frustration is we haven't uh, put that domination into putting the ball in the back of the net, but hopefully that will come soon enough. Crowd absolutely enthralled by this one. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the scouts, by the way, so they are impartial. Ryan Astley for Everton. Can we crown a 
good first half performance with a tangible reward. And Billy Crowley's asked a lot of Mackenzie Hunt, but Mackenzie Hunt deals with it nicely. Really well. He's deals offside. with it really He's well, offside. but he's offside. He's a yard offside, yeah. unfortunately. It was a good ball, but good work from Mackenzie Hunt yeah, it was, there. Yeah. Did really well. As I mean, as you said, Daz, it was a, a ball that was drilled out to him from Billy Crowley in the goalkeeper, and he did well, Mackenzie Hunt, to deal with it. And it was actually a good ball down the, yeah, down the line, but... Um, Unfortunately, he was half a yard offside. Can I turn, yeah. Just uh, leaning on Amario Cozia Dubry. He's been on the bench for the first time in the Premier League as the Arsenal number 11. Mackenzie Hunt jumped a bit early, jumped under it. Well, how can that be? An, how can that be an Arsenal throw in? He's just watched his mate give him a. <laughs> 50 yard cross wheel ball I and mean, he's allowed uh, it out of play. I mean, Mackenzie's got away with murder there, really, because he's, <laughs> he's jumped too early for a yeah. cross wheel pass. It's clearly not hit him on the head. The Arsenal lads appealed for it and yeah. it, he's got away with it, Mackenzie, there. Oh, chance, chance. Inside the penalty area. Brave. Well done, Billy. Well yeah. done, Billy Crellin. Quick off the line. Got himself out and smothered the ball quickly because uh, there was an opportunity, there was half an opportunity there for uh, Edwards. Here comes Eli Campbell. Wrong quote to Astley. I'm not sure Billy Crellin likes Mackenzie Hunt. <laughs> Great <laughs> view. Not at the moment, not in the last couple of minutes he doesn't. I mean, I think Billy. He, he, it, the ball was coming to him, he, was, yeah. he knew it was going to get played back into him and he sort of had this picture in his mind that yeah. he could pick out Mackenzie Hunt at left back but uh, the execution won't, it wasn't what he wanted it to be. Uh, did much better there as he dives at the feet of uh, Kay and Edwards. Eleven minutes to go in this first half, but a good first half. Same on the way. And he is again. Same on Louis. England Youth International. And who's Susan? Crozier Dubry. He's got, he's got a little bit. He's got a look of Saka about him, hasn't he? Yes. Dubry. Yeah. Metcalf plays it to Cassia Chiarte. Now, can Cassia Chiarte get a run on the Arsenal defence? Nope, but he's won a corner. He always, he, I always look at him and think he can do more. Mm. And I, I mean that in the nicest yeah. possible yeah. way. Because it's know, in the locker. It's in, the, in the, it's in his locker. He's a, he's a great specimen. Look at the size of him and yeah. the power of him. And I just think to myself, come on, be positive. Like Know what's around you. He's, he's, he's a talent. Mm. Corner for Everton. He's, 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 one of the, he's one of those people, Kayate. He's one of those lads that the only person who will stop him is him. himself. Yeah. Scored a great goal for the first team, didn't he? Pre season over in Switzerland. Corner kick for Everton. Metcalf takes it. Oh, yeah, Campbell thought he was going to get there. Butterfield just tries to loft it over the goalkeeper. Worth an effort, wasn't it? Yeah. But uh, Ovi Aheri was equal to it. Yeah, it's one of those situations where the ball comes out to you quickly. I mean, you didn't really have any chance. I mean, Butterfield didn't have a chance to really get a strike on it. So he tried to just lob it over yeah. the keeper. It was the right thing to do, actually. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, uh, not quite uh, the right purchase on the ball. The big keeper was there. Two interesting loan spells last season. Ovi Aheri, the uh, Arsenal goalkeeper, one at Chelmsford and one in Finland. There you go. You get two more different loan experiences than that. Sousa. Back to Mon Louis, who sweeps it away from goal. Roman Dixon miscontrols it. Picked up by James Sweet. Wasn't on the offensive here. Evans getting players back. 
Rural Walters. And Everton regroup again. Well, that's shape. 4 4 1 1. try down the right hand side and again they have to go back and all credit to Everton with discipline Bradley Ibrahim and it'll do for Roman Dixon but he's panicked a wee bit there hasn't he yeah I think he, he, he could have just calmed himself down there a little bit Roman I mean there's nothing wrong with defenders like clearing their lines and a lot of people like to see that, but I think in that situation he could have just picked out an Everton shirt. Now it breaks kindly for Lino Souza into the penalty area. Jimmy Gower on the turn, he's pulled it wide. It was a chance, it was Arsenal's best chance of the game by a mile. And uh, Jimmy Gower has pulled it thankfully. Wide of the post. Oh, thankfully for us, he's exactly right, Darren, because it was actually a really good turn from the young man yep. there. He just turned. We'll see the replay here as the ball gets driven through. Souza plays it through. It's a good turn. Gow, and he just drags his shot wide of the. Uh, I think the, he's going to score from there, don't you? Think yeah, I mean, roll it's, it in. it's his wrong foot, like, but uh, it was a decent opportunity for him, but he, he'd be fashioning himself the chance in a very good way. Butterfield. Nice football from Everton. Butterfield, bit of space to operate in. Roman Dixon sprints away down the right. Butterfield plays it in field to Metcalf, who turns away from two Arsenal midfield players, gets his heels clipped. And that'll be a free kick for the Toffees. Yeah, nice neat play from Metcalf there. I, I like him. Yeah, I think a nice he's a player, decent player. He? He's, he's a good on the eye player. Turned away from a couple of players, as you said, Daz, and got himself the free kick. Oh, Mackenzie Hunt, Hunt will stand over. Yep. So it's, it's one of those funny, it's a funny place for a free kick, isn't it? It's a it's, it's, it's yeah. sort of betwixt and between sort of seat yeah. area. I think it's one of those ones you pretty much just want to hang up to the far post and see what happens. There That's we go. exactly what he's done. Can actually get there, no Ocker on quote does. And uh, not it out of play, goal kick for. The Gunners, Everton nil, Arsenal nil. Five minutes to go, plus whatever Mr. Marsden wishes to add on. And uh, I don't see, the, I don't think there'll be any. Can't see what, why? No, there's the, been no physios on. There's been no breaks in play. No, no, no substitutions. Couple of minutes at best, just for the, uh, just for the sake of it, shall we say? Yeah. Taking a chance again here, Arsenal. It's madness, isn't it? It's sheer Honestly, madness. Honestly, it's, it's, it's my vein in life, Daz. My vein in life. People people who don't get in on the far post, I've, I've already touched yep, on. Yep. How long have we got? <laughs> <laughs> why Why are you trying to play out from the back? If you haven't got the players to play out from the back, all the with, space. don't do it. Yep. Don't do it. Stop trying to be clever. You know, it's coaches who think that they've got to read yeah. the manual and, yeah. you know, they've got to do what everybody else does. I'm, I'm desperate for somebody to rip the thing up. Yeah. Just, rip it up and just, just go, go back. One, yeah. yeah, especially in the fact that, you know, these lads are playing here. They're going to yeah. go to League One and League Two sides on, yeah. on loan. Yeah. And none of them are going to do no. it. Little flick on. Chance for Katia Kiate slices it. He's got a shooting boots on tonight, Katia. Sweet. Dispossessed, that'll be a free kick. A little bit uh, too hasty though, the challenge was uh, sweet. Um, and he's got his just desserts. <laughs> <laughs> the free kick. Just, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll come back in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of men forward for Everton. 
Great time to score a goal, wouldn't it? Fluffed a couple of chances in the first couple of minutes. Let's hope we can fashion a couple more in the last few minutes. Metcalf, what a great ball. Oh, punched away by the goalkeeper. Did well, actually, the keeper. Made his mind up early. Came through a crowd of players, but nothing done with the free kick, Diamond. Very good. Fantastic ball curled in there. Refreshing. Refreshes to see. Sorry, refreshing or <laughs> refreshes. It's a poor effort from yeah. Milton. It would be a great time to score. Yeah, wouldn't it? Just 42 and a half minutes on the clock. It would be a lovely time to score for us. Corner kick. There it goes. Keeper comes again. Gets a fingertip to it, I think. Yep. Corner kick from the left hand side this time. And uh, good deliveries tonight from the wide positions for Everton. Yeah, asking questions. That's yeah. all you can do. Yep. You just want to ask questions of the. Uh, with the Arsenal back four and goalkeeper. And it's Metcalf now from the other side of the pitch to whip this one in with his right foot. And Jan Go waits, Eli Campbell waits, Okoronko waits. It's a deep one, keeper can't get there. Ashley can, nobody in a blue jersey on the end of it, what a chance. And Arsenal can counter here on the far side. Good play from Mackenzie Hunt. Stops the danger and feeds Metcalf. It's another great ball in. Oh, Ryan Ashley just couldn't climb high enough. But again, we're on the front foot diamond, and Ryan Ashley did everything right from the corner, kicked in, but just to keep it alive. Every, every single, both corners that came in there, yeah. Ryan was involved. Then the ball that came in at the, at the death there, there we go, he, he was there again. Just that one there, just slightly over him, oh, but yeah. he's just peeling off on the far post. But there's a few occasions there that, that you know he, he nodded one back, and we didn't read it. You've got to. You know, as it comes into the centre half, you, you, know, you can tell what's going to happen. You know, yeah. he's only one place he's going to hit. You know, try and head it back across that six-yard line. Get yourself in there. You know, break your neck to score a goal. It can be a trait of young players, Graham Connor, to uh, watch the ball and not try and think one step ahead. Yeah, but I mean, that's 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 the difference between the levels that you end up playing at. People who read the game and and and. and produce the goods from it as people who stand there and wait for it to happen it's it's a totally different kettle of fish there weren't many better at reading a game of football in gareth barry were that always always not one step ahead yeah a couple. I mean, i've got i've got nothing but admiration i mean i'm, yeah. I'm very very fortunate to have, have met gareth i've yeah. uh, i played a round of golf with him and the, the annoying thing is he's good at, he's golf, good at golf as well, as well yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's a great lad really yeah. good you, you don't play that amount of premier league games of football without mm. being a clever player you don't play for who you've played for the villas the man cities the evertons of this world without being a proper proper player not to mention england obviously as well he 690 was, premier league games. he was brilliant for us he was absolutely sensational for yeah. us, Gareth. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure what he's up to now. No. Nope. Uh, if he's got any he brains about him, he's chilled out in the States yep. with a bit of sun on his back absolutely. and doing what he wants because he deserves it. He's a great lad. Nearly 700 Premier League games is 35 games a year for 20 years. <laughs> that's so consistent. Yeah, but, uh, but that's exactly what it is. That, that tells yeah. you absolutely everything. Yeah. He was everything about consistency. Yeah. Here's Edwards. Good now ball. then, Good ball. it's a great ball in round the back. Keate trying to get back. Arsenal keep possession inside the penalty area. Krellin blocks the first effort. Jimmy Gower slices the second, gets lucky to find a teammate. Crozier Dubry can't get a shot away. Everton defending for their lives here in the last minute. Chipped in by Souza. Chance on the back stick again. Why, why is he not headed that? And eventually Luke Butterfield scrambles it away. It's only going to be one minute of added time, which is nearly up. In fact, it's not nearly up, it is up. But, uh, well, that, that came from nowhere, didn't it? Well, a little flurry at the end. But, but that's, uh, to me, that's typical Arsenal. Yeah. You know, in and around the box, they want to they want to score the perfect goal. Mm. The ball comes out to the left-hand side, eventually gets dinked into the far post. I'm thinking to myself, throw, you, throw your head in. Yeah. Uh, goodness knows what happened there, but... Uh, we held on, and Everton have shaded, more than shaded the first half. We've had glorious, glorious opportunities to have uh, at least taken the lead... And uh, just didn't quite manage it. But uh, Paul Tate will be delighted, Diamond, will he? I think he will. He'll be delighted with the way that we started the game. He'll be disappointed that we should have gone at least one up in the first few minutes, which could have totally and utterly settled the game and totally changed it as a spectacle. 
But in the main, we've been dominant in possession. Arsenal have huffed and puffed, but not really uh, until that last literally 30 seconds of the added time caused us any problems yeah. whatsoever. Um, There's that chance for Katia Kiate. Yeah, I mean, he, he has to score for yeah. me. He did everything yeah. right, yeah, bar did, yeah. the strike. I yeah. mean, the strike. I, he knows it. Yeah, he knows it. The strike's got to be here. He goes, look, there we go. First touch, so out your feet there. Low. Drill it low. Drill yeah. it low, bottom corner. That's the finish. So he'll be disappointed with that. But again, that's, that's, that's something for everybody to talk about tomorrow. Ockham Ronco closes down well. Arsenal taking mm. chances at the back that they didn't need to do. When, to, he when takes should he shoot? There. There. Yeah. Right there takes too many touches tries to dink it over the keeper I, th I, th I think personally he should have just here we go we've got a better angle from it yeah, here yeah he cuts inside now shoot yeah, yeah. plenty of man back by then isn't that good save from the it. keeper in fairness yeah, as well he palmed it away but this is all inside the first two or three minutes of the game yeah Arsenal had their moments. Yep, this is the Gower chance, isn't it? Yeah. T turns well, scuffs his shot a little bit, but yep. in fairness to him, that was that that was a lovely little turn. Good run, good spot, pass wise, slides him in, rolls the defender, Roman Dixon, but scuffs his shot. Yeah. A couple of yards wide. This is the last bit here, I think. This is it. This is in is this in the last second here? Yeah, look, there we there go. There you go. Head it. Head it, yeah. What are you doing? Head it. Yeah, full back. Yeah. Rule Walters. Fortunately for us, it's, uh, here we go, we could get a better uh, vision of it here. Just just head the ball. If he, if you dive in there and head it, <laughs> Does he lose it in the floodlights or something? It's Don't give bizarre. us that, Daz, Daz. You're too nice, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got, uh, as always, a nice couple of video clips for you coming up. Graham Stewart and I are going to take a break. We're going to watch what happened when our new Portuguese centre forward, Beto, met a few young supporters from our school supporters clubs and we'll hear from uh, our new women's captain Meg Finnegan. I'll be keeping an eye on Graeme Stewart tonight because there's a full moon. <laughs> Let's see Beto with the supporters club from school and Meg Finnegan as well, the new captain of the Everton women's team. Boys and girls, special surprise, Evan star striker, Beto! <laughs> Who was the most welcoming when you joined Everton? I think the Portuguese guys and Seamus, of course. How did you feel when you scored your first Everton goal? I feel uh, really, really good, really proud of me and uh, really happy. What do you do to become a good teammate? For me, first one, you need to know how to listen, listen to your teammate, listen to uh, his perspective, and after you try to help him, and like this you can be a good teammate. Why is teamwork important? It's important because uh, in the football or collective sports, you can't go alone uh, against everybody. You need, you need to have a team, and that's good. Why did you sign for Everton? That's a good question. Because I like Everton, I always liked Everton, and uh, when, I, when I saw, when I knew that Everton was interested in me, I said, uh, it's Everton. It's Everton I want to go. What's your favourite kit? Favourite kit? Our own kit, the blue one. Oh. Yeah. How tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say foot, but I'm um, one meter and 94. Six for three? Six for three. Okay, so you're taller than my dad, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favourite match that you've played? A favourite match I've played? I don't I, I, I have a lot, but one of my favourites was against Doncaster. <laughs> Better, have you enjoyed your first visit to the community here? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, great kids. Very nice to meet them, and I'm, I'm happy to be here. One of your heroes used to play here as well, is that true? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, Samuel Eto played here, and Lukaku played here, and uh, now better play here. <laughs> that's a good, really good team. For me, it's a dream. I want to ask you about the time you had to have a job, as well as your training when you worked at KFC. Yes. Why did you take that job? Because when I, where I come from, you have 18, you're not studying. You need to go to, to, to take a job, if not my mom will kill me. 
and uh, it's like but for me it was a normal thing everybody now in the professional world say ah you really work because I'm not a professional like uh, since 18 16 and I needed to work to help uh, in my my house but it was fun it was fun to get some independence for me that was important to me to pay my drive lessons and everything helped my mom for me it was good to have that responsibility. So is that in your mentality, never giving up? Is that the type of person you are? Yeah, it's my type of person. I, I know I'm not the most talented guy in, uh, that play football, but my effort is my, is my main weapon, so nobody can win against my effort, nobody. Do you feel there will be pressure to score goals or do you think that that will just come naturally? For me, yeah. there's pressure all the time. I put pressure on myself to score goals. I want to score. I'm a striker. Yeah. Uh, even if you win like 3 nil, and I do a good game and I don't know, do three assists, for me the goal, I will miss the goal. So I want to score all the time. Meg, congratulations on being named Everton's new club captain. It must be a huge honour for you. Yeah, it definitely is. It, it's a very proud moment for me and my family as well. They were, they were very proud when I told them the news. But yeah, when Brian pulled me and, and told me, I was, I was delighted. And as I say, it's, a, it's an honour for me because this is my childhood club. Um, and when I started playing for, for Everton when I was nine, I don't think I could have dreamt of being captain. So it's pretty nice, you know. You hinted to it just now, but when were you first told and how did that conversation go? Yeah, like I say, it was a bit of a whirlwind week. Um, and when kind of we caught wind that Gabby might be leaving, Brian pulled me aside and asked if I wanted to be the captain, if I would, would want that responsibility. And I straight away said, yeah, um, because I feel like I'm at a stage in my career where I can take on that responsibility. I've been here for a long time now and despite only being 25, I think I've got a lot of experience and then uh, yeah, the next day it was just a team meeting really and since that was kind of the first time I'd, I properly had confirmation of it, um, so yeah, it was very nice. What was the, what was the reaction, what was your emotion at that, at that moment in particular? Yeah, I just had a big smile on my face to be honest. Um, like I say, it's just a feeling of happiness really. Um, I, I feel since I've come back to pre-season this year, like I say, I felt in a really good place both physically Mentally, I feel really happy and I just felt ready kind of to, to take, you know, my game to the next level. And, you know, it's some, certainly something that I felt ready to do. And, yeah, like I say, since then, it's just been, obviously, I'm very happy. But now kind of getting to the business end of the season, the games are starting. So now it's, yeah, obviously down to work. You're the, you're the club's longest serving player. As you said, although you're just 25, you it does feel like you've got a lot of experience and maybe more than your peers. Um, do you feel like this was the next stage in your evolution at the club? Yeah, definitely. I said in my interview when I signed a three-year contract last season that I wanted to be remembered as a club legend. Um, and yeah, for me, like I say, I, I think I do have leadership qualities, but I think, yeah, people maybe haven't seen the best of them yet because I've not kind of been put into this role. So. Yeah, I definitely felt it was the next step. Um, I've got a, a lot of games under my belt for Everton and with a lot of new players coming in as well. I, hopefully I can kind of be, you know, that person that they can go to, you know, if they need help and kind of just somebody that, that knows the club inside out. Because um, I'd like to think that I do. Do you feel like you'll uh, approach games any differently with the armband or do, do you feel like for the reasons you've just stated, you, you've already got... or already displayed those leadership qualities in the past? Yeah, I mean, I think, obviously, I've been chosen to be captain for a reason, so I obviously will remain Meg. You know, I don't want to change too much, but definitely there's there's obviously added pressure and responsibility with captain, um, and I'm hoping that I can thrive under that pressure. But like I say, it's something that I think I'm, I'm ready to take on. Um, and yeah, I'm just obviously really happy. You're pleased for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, um, two goals um, in, in two appearances, well, one and a half really, wasn't it? 
Um, is he fit enough to play back-to-back -back games now, being Wednesday, Saturday? Well, I'm pleased for him, first of all. Um, you know, he's dug in for a long time and, and we've tried to um, come away from the pressure of just putting him straight back in all the time and, and hopefully that will pay dividends in the longer term for him and for us. Um, I think he's looked sharp in the games. We obviously knew that, you know, we're building him back into um, first-team football, hence why we, we got him off um, at a reasonable kind of state of the game. Uh, last night, but yeah, he can only get fair and sharper. Jack Harrison, I thought was excellent. I said after the game, not because, not be, you know, necessarily because of his technical and tactical performance in the sense of um, being as sharp as he will get, but for someone who's hardly had any any football really, uh, he's had training time. I must be clear, but actual football, as in playing games at this level, then it's been minimal for a long period. And I thought he was really sharp and did really well. So on the back of two wins, it's Luton Town on Saturday at Goodison. Is there an added expectation now on winning that game? I think the fans will expect it to be. To well, there's a there's an the expectation at Everton Football Club every game. That's certainly been very, very clear to me since I've been here. Every game is a winnable game. Every game we should expect to win. Every game we go in it to win. It. And that is the expectation of being at um, Everton Football Club. I've learned that very quickly. What have you made of Luton? They can't be high on confidence given what happened to them in the League Cup as well this week. Yeah, I don't think they'll be too worried about that in the sense of they made a lot of changes. Um, they're working very hard in games. They're playing structured. They're trying to get the ball forwards. They're trying to ask questions of the opposition. It's always a tough ask coming up, um, but but they're, they're, they're working hard in games. So we've certainly got to deliver a performance. We, we certainly take no one lightly, um, that's for sure, and the players know that. And you spoke earlier a little bit about the, the change of formation the other night. Is that something that now gives you an option to do maybe in a league game or... How, how will that work in terms of what you might do? Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I said for all them years, everyone said I could only do 4 4 2. I said all the time, it, it's got to suit the players. It's got to be what the players can deliver. I think we've got a more flexible group here. You know, I think they can deliver in different tactical situations. I've said all along, we've got some very good players. It's about maximising them as individuals and their group as a, the group as a, uh, the potential of the group, sorry. Inevitably, you've got to win. Whatever tactics you play, you've got to win. But I equally said to the group, Tactics are one thing, it's the delivery, the delivery of a performance, that's key. It always is. You know, we can all debate tactics, we, we do endlessly now. Um, tactics when you could lose a game, you know, the tactics are still right, you just haven't delivered it. You haven't delivered what the plan was, and that's sometimes the way it goes. So I'm always quite balanced about the tactical view, but it's the intent and the desire of the performance, and I think I'll be really pleased with that, no matter what shape we've changed it to, I've been really pleased with that side of things. And, and we want more to come from the group. You know, we want to establish a consistency of that that kind of clear-mindedness and all knows who's pointing in the right direction. It's an old-fashioned term, but it's a fantastic thing when that happens and you get all players are aligned, ready to do whatever they have to do, regardless of tactical understanding, just delivering a performance. And I think that's been intact. Welcome back to the Big Hub Stadium, Southport, where Everton will be looking to build on the first half performance I can tell you that Isaac Heath is about to come on for Everton and I would suspect Diamond it will be Kyle John who makes way because uh, they're just nursing him back as as gently as they possibly can he's had wretched luck with injuries and just looking around I think it is Kyle John who makes way and that makes absolute sense yeah of course it does yeah 45 minutes for Kyle is probably enough at this moment in time with his rehabilitation it's Everton who are out here first, way ahead of the Arsenal side, Absolutely, actually, yeah. and the referees. So <laughs> clearly, Paul Tate has uh, get out there. potentially had a few words with him. Said, "Get out, come on." Yep. One way or the other, you never know. Um, but Isaac's got the opportunity now to impress in this second half. Well, it, so if he can do that, Tate's message must be more of the same. But listen, take your chances. Yeah. More of the same. You dominated the game possession-wise. You've been, you've been good. But look, when we get our chances, let's be ruthless. It doesn't matter what level you play at, does. 21s, yeah. 18s, 16s, first team, be ruthless. You've got to be. Danny Webb loves it when we make a substitution at half-time because it gets him on the uh, on the television. There he is. Well, he With his notepad in his hand. Well, I was going to say, he might love it. I'm not sure anybody else does. But, uh, <laughs> I thought actually it might be a pile of betting slips, might it? <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's, the, no that's, the, that's the 7.30 at Haydock he's got there in his hand. <laughs> Carl John off, Isaac Heath on. Very direct, quick, tricky customer. Isaac Heath, no changes from an Arsenal perspective. I would imagine that the message from their coach would be stop giving the ball away so sloppily. 
because they were most un-Arsenal-like, especially in the opening stages of that first half. And we take it happening again, because this would be a really, really good victory. If we can get something from this game against the traditionally strong Arsenal side, currently sitting third in Premier League 2, it really would be a big boost. Platform on which Everton can really push on. Just looking at the lines up, it looks like we're uh, pretty much 4 5 1. Here we go again, we're under the way. You hear it? Yeah, the same. Mackenzie Hunt came a long way to make that and was uh, quite obviously nudged off the ball. Controlled by Crozier Dubry. Isaac Heath, Isaac Heath's first involvement is good. It's a good ball as well by Luke Butterfield to pick out Katia Kiate. Mackenzie Hunt sprinting forward, but it's a poor ball in from Katia Kiate. It's better than that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm looking at it. You know, it's the first couple of minutes of the, of the second half. Go and take him on. Get the, get the ball. Take your full back on. Ask him the question. You know, if, if he stands off, you're fine. Put a ball in. But it's late. It was a lazy pass yeah. from him. He's better than that. Butterfield. Ryan Aslick looking for the run of Isaac Heath who'll let it bounce and try and get it under to, in trying to scoop it across he can do no more than scoop it behind for an Arsenal goal kick but at least again we quick out the traps diamond yeah we crook out the traps I mean but it's you know, you've got to have the quality at the end of it Too close to uh, Jimmy Gower then. Again, Arsenal trying to play out from the back into midfield. Yeah. Tyler, yeah. nice and tight as you as you want your midfield player yeah. to be. I, I just don't buy it. I just. Going ball just forward and it goes straight through to Billy Crow. This isn't an Arsenal side for me. No. Fortunate then. Jensen Mekhoff breathing down his neck, trying to pinch it from him. And Arsenal presumably will now try and play it out again. No. Good defending Ryan Astley. Likes to defend, doesn't he, Ryan Astley? Yeah, that's those. what he's all about. That's what you want, don't you? you? You want defenders to just be happy to defend and upset centre forwards and head balls and clear balls. And, and Ryan does that. You know, don't get me wrong, he can play a pass. Yeah, of course he can. Yeah. He does. He does the. He does def the defensive side of things correctly. Tyler Foran. Throwing for Arsenal. A bit sloppy the opening couple of minutes of the second half. Will Walters, England under 19 international, takes the throw in. Louis. So sweet. Moves down and plays an early ball wide on this right hand side to Walters who will run at Mackenzie Hunt. Takes him on the wide. Mackenzie Hunt had to get that right and he did. Corner kick. But yeah. it could have been worse. No, you're quite right, Darren. He had to get that challenge correctly time wise. He just about got the top of the ball there, and it rolled out for a corner, which Arsenal will come away to our right-hand side to take. Everybody back for Everton. Here comes the corner, made away at the near post by... Metcalf helped on by Isaac Heath but helped into a dangerous position then the ricochet favours Arsenal and Jimmy Gower Crozier Dubry 
good ball. Ibrahim takes the shot. It's blocked. Great challenge, that. Really, really solid challenge. Still inside the penalty area. It's not gone. Eventually, the referee has to stop the game. Well, it, was, uh, it was Elijah Campbell with the initial block. Okoronko. It's Okoronko who's Ronco, who's down said, injured, yeah. but Elijah Campbell was the one who, who made the fantastic block. And it actually, as the ball came out to the edge of the box, he threw himself into the challenge and got the block in. Possibly see the replay in a minute, but as we see it now, here yeah. we go. Ball comes out there, one touch. Yeah. Elijah Campbell, bang. Challenge. Ockham Ronco, it's a clash of heads. Yeah. Clash of heads, wasn't yeah. it? He'll live, I think. Martin Sheriff uh, suffered some mild concussion against Burton Albion. It uh, necessitates him out of action for the required period of 12 days. There he is, Frankie. He'll be all right. Matty and the Dock have sorted it out. The play will restart with a bounce ball inside the penalty area. But Billy Crell, Billy Crellin will be able to uh, touch, pick up, and then launch it forward. Just waiting for the second half to settle down, aren't we? Well, I wouldn't say settled down, Daz. I'd say liven up. Yeah. It's just it's scrappy. It's passive. Oh, back to Souza. Back to Mon Louis. Switch of play to Rural Walters. Rosie Adubi will pick this up on the far side. It's been a good battle between him and Roman Dixon. A tricky customer. Mario Rosie Adubi, 18 years of age. Sweet plays it on to Walters. Walters into the channel where Jack Henry Francis picks it up. He plays it back and feels a sweet, sweet crosses to the back stick, but it's a poor ball. It's out of play and it's a goal kick. No, it's excellent build-up play from Arsenal. Yep. Wiles better swishing it from side to side, and the ball eventually finds himself to the to the right-hand side with uh, Sweet. And his cross has got to be a bit better. It wasn't a dreadful no. ball. No, there wasn't too many people gambling, as I say, and I keep saying at the far yeah. post, there wasn't too many people throwing themselves into it. But he could probably do better. They're selling black coats outside the ground here today. <laughs> <laughs> Make an effort away end that. And Louis, referee spots an infringement. Free kick for Arsenal. Take it quick is the shout from the bench, but Tyler Onyango just stands his ground. As you do sprinting forward is Souza on the overlap. Early ball into the penalty area. Well dealt with by Ryan Astley. Picked up by Rosie Adubi again, he's, he's getting into the game a lot more now. Ibrahim, Arsenal are getting into the game a lot more. Sweet plays it wide to the fullback who crosses low. Little Walters, and Everton cleared it away, but uh, just on the rack a wee bit. Mackenzie Hunt, can he play a ball towards Okoronkwo, but uh, Tyler Foran is there. Okoronkwo pushes him over, and on that occasion, <laughs> soft. Really, really soft. Yeah. But it must be said, Arsenal have started this second half way better than we have. Yes, I mean, we, have. you know, we talked about the first half and we were on the front foot and we looked lively and sharp. Not this second half. Arsenal with a far the better side. Here they come again, and Jimmy Gower is in here. Rowan Dixon gets goal side. Edwards with the first shot. Cozy Adubi picks it up. Screaming for it on the edge of the penalty area was Henry Francis. Walters trying to work it onto his right foot. Back it goes to Cozy Adubi. And eventually Jensen Mekoff brings it away really, really well. Breaking forward Jensen Mekoff, but it's a poor oh, ball, ball by his standards. I mean Jensen's got to see he's got to see 
Cassiate. Yeah. He's got to see Cassiate. But in, in fairness to, to Metcalf as well, cassiate has got to be screaming yeah. his head off. Give me the ball. Give me. The, you've got to scream. You've got to tell people. Bit of reluctance to shoot from Arsenal there, wasn't that a couple well, of? Well, I mean, but that's you know. With the greatest respects, Arsenal are a fantastic football club and they've got some fantastic players, but they have got a habit of trying to over-elaborate yeah. and all overly try and pass the ball and score the perfect goal. Yeah. And this under-21 side tonight is exactly the same. You know, who's going to put their foot through the ball? You know, who's going to, you know, test yeah. the keeper? They want to score the perfect tap-in. Those do a big good play. Jimmy Gower takes the there shot and the deflection favours him. So and there you go, we've just been lead. talking about yeah. it there, trying to take try, a chance. You know, score the perfect goal. Gower on the edge of the box, takes a pop shot, it gets a deflection, it goes in the back of the net. No yeah. trying to mess around and yeah. play the, you know, score the, the goal of the century. It's just a bog stand, a ball cut back to the edge of the box, he takes a shot, he gets a little bit of luck with the deflection, or a lot of luck with the deflection, as we see here, as the ball gets played back to him. Ball out of his feet, shot, bang, goal. Yeah. It's no more than they deserved. Absolutely. We'll see from this angle who it came off. Oh, it's come off the back of the head of Ryan Astley. And uh, Billy Crellin, absolutely nothing he could do. Yeah, not much Ryan could have done, not much Billy could have done, really. He just, you know, Ryan obviously tries to get his body in the way. Billy's all obviously gone for the yeah, shot that's going into the walls, the left-hand cor uh, left corner. But, you know, in fairness to Arsenal, we, t we touched on it earlier. They've started the second half yes, yeah. miles better than we have, and they've had the finishing product. It just shows you, doesn't it? Buy a ticket, you might win the prize. There you go. Well, and it also shows you that when you, you know, when you get guilt edge chances like we did in the first half, you yeah, need to you take them to take because them. they come back and they bite you. Yeah. Mario Cozier Dubri starting to have more of an influence, isn't he, Graham? On this, yeah, he side. is. I mean, you, you know, you can tell he's a quality player. Yeah, no doubt about that. Definitely has got. The style of Bukayo Saka about him, he's a nippy player, no centre of gravity, quick, skillful, and uh, it's been a tough night for Roman Dixon, plus four Roman Dixon's given a good account of himself. Now that can Everton hit back, here's Ocaronquo, Francis Ocaronquo, thought about taking the shot early, waits for Isaac Heath to support, Heath, jinking, trying to get a cross in, chips it into the penalty area, but not for the first time his cross goes over the crossbar it's too nice too nice I can Ronco for me there you've got to be selfish as a striker you've just gone one nil down the ball's got ro rolled into your feet you've given yourself a little chance and a, a sighter at goal hit the target have a strike you're a centre forward man just see if we get a, a replay of it does because I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself you, you've done the right thing you've got yourself half a yard put your foot through it Everton nil, Arsenal one at Southport. 57 minutes on the clock. Here we go. No, we've seen the latter bit there. Isaac Heath just trying to dink the ball to the far post. It was before that where the uh, first opportunity lay. Well, Astley does well. Ibrahim picks it up. Well, again, Mario Cozier Dubri takes the early free kick and finds Jimmy Gower. He's got Walters free on this right hand side. Here come Arsenal again. It's a different story this second half. Henry Francis to Ibrahim. Sousa. Cozier Dubri. And Dixon does well. Wins the throw in. You see the change in the second half in this first, yeah. this first ten minutes or so of the of the second half. Totally different Arsenal side, a side that you would look at and expect Arsenal to be moving the ball, good yeah. movement, sharp passing, good individual techniques. Miles better from them. It's no surprise that they've gone one up. Metcalf, good ball the outside of his foot to Mackenzie Hunt. Katia Kiarte sets off. Mackenzie Hunt plays it into the channel. Kiarte makes the run forward. And he's got a free kick out of it. He just got the touch on it before Taylor Foran came across. And Foran was committed to the challenge. And uh, the referee, Mr. Marsden, says it's a free kick for Everton. And this is a good position. Yeah, it is. It was a close call, actually. A good ball by Mackenzie Hunt. Kiarte pointing to him to where the, he wanted the ball to be played. You see here as the ball gets played to him, challenge comes in. Kittier just got there just in front yeah. of the Arsenal defender. 
and it results in a free kick on the left hand side in front of Astas Mackenzie yep. Hunt over it and some off as well can we get a decent delivery into the box because we've been dangerous yeah good enough for two better players to provide the delivery will it be Mackenzie Hunt will it be Metcalf it's Metcalf with the right foot and it's too close to the goalkeeper that time who punches it away and of all the people to find it's Cozy Dubry Jensen Metcalf well, I'll tell you what, he's thrown himself over the the Arsenal player, but he, he can't give it as a he can't give it as a throw a throw on to Arsenal. No, it's either a free it's kick. It's either a free Arsenal. kick to yeah. Arsenal or it's a throw on to us. Yeah. What's happened here? Look, well done ref. Oh, he's given a free kick he's finally, yeah. I think it was a free kick. It probably was a free kick, but he's finally made his mind up anyway. Walters. Back to foreign. Just edge past the hour mark here. At Southport. Yeah, another good ball here. Yeah. Another really, really good ball. Goes you do bring across all oh, chance in front of goal. I think it was Kay and Edwards. There was no more than a yard or so out and it was on a plate for him, but uh, Kay and Edwards, it, it's, it's quite simple. Kay and Edwards has to score. It's as simple as that. Here we go, Graham. Here we go. It's it's a, it was a, a, a fantastic crossfield pass. He's enjoying and himself. Your man. Right. Oof, you have to score. Have to score. Have to score. It's guilt edged. Some chances gone begging me at uh, that end of the field this afternoon, this evening rather. And it is again from a different angle, Graham. I mean, Dubry takes a good first touch, really, and it's a great, it's a fantastic boy. He misses it completely, doesn't it? Edwards, he's, 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 you've got to, that's a tap in for a centre yep. forward, surely. Yep. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, the referee a blows poor, a bit early there. Poor referee. You've got to let the game go. I mean, it, it, I don't know what excuse he's making to the Arsenal players, but mm. they had the advantage, they played yep. the ball, they were in a good situation. He's got to play on the refs. Poor. Good news for us. Yep. Bradley Moonen is about to come on for Everton. Big centre half. Ibrahim for Arsenal. Oh, sorry for the Arsenal fullback then, Walters. He made a great run down the right hand side. Yeah, he's, he's, he's <laughs> Bradley Abraham pied yeah, him yeah. and yeah. said, Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> well, it'd be interesting to see what Tate he does here because we've yeah. got Moonen coming on the centre yeah. half. Is he going to go three at the back? Is he going to. Is it a change of formation? Is it a, just to get some minutes into a player or mm -hmm. what? I mean, you, you have to take all these things yes, into consideration yeah. at 21's level, don't you? Mackenzie Hunt. Plays it to Butterfield. It's stuck under Mackenzie Hunt's feet a little bit. And we have to play all the way back to Billy Krellin. And he chips it back to Mackenzie Hunt. He has time to get it under. Nice, cool and composed from Billy there with his yeah. feet. No way out for the Toffees. You do bring away from Metcalf, away from Butterfield, and hits the side netting. But that young man is really beginning yeah, to enjoy as, himself uh, as the game progresses. He's becoming more and more the man that Arsenal are going to absolutely get to give the ball to, and he will create problems. And he's after a relatively quiet first yes, half, he yeah. really has come to the fore for Arsenal in his second half. Like for like for Everton, Bradley Moon and coming on to pawn Eli Campbell. And Ryan Astley, it is who has been withdrawn over on the far side. I don't know whether he's got a knock, or whether the plan was always for him to play an hour or so. Not sure why. You'll find out. A nice little flick now. Okoronko, nice little Chance. flick again. Go on, Tyler Onyango. Tyler Onyango driving forward. He's pushed it too far. Keeper makes the save. Katia Kiata gets the second ball. 
Oh my goodness me, referee, how in the world he given? can you give a free kick for that? Is he giving a free kick for I Tyler's mean, challenge? Do me a favour. Are you telling me that Tyler on Yango doesn't can't, have... He, can't go he, for he it. Hasn't <laughs> can't, he, he's got no right to go for the ball. OK, he, no, he, 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 he knocks it on a little bit too yeah. far, but you can't... There's the, he, there's the heavy me. touch. It's just a, it's just a yeah, 50 a 50 clash. Yeah. yeah. There's no foul there whatsoever. If he no. lifted it over his legs and it went in the goal, is he going to disallow the goal for a free kick? He's any, not. Any other, any other player on the pitch, and he, he doesn't get the free kick it's because honestly. it's the goalkeeper. But, uh, honestly, honestly, this is, this is where. Modern football. No, but it, 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 it's not even modern football, does. This is where there's a lack of understanding of the game. Mm. If you. Tyler's got right. to go for that, hasn't he? He's got every right to go for it, Daz. Yeah. And the goalkeeper is brave and he comes yeah. out and he yeah. does his job. But it was just an accidental clash. Yeah. Referees have to understand that these things happen. If you play the game, you don't give a free kick to that. Yeah. And I'm not knocking officials because it's a difficult job and yeah. what have you, but if you're a player and you've played the game, you know one million percent that yeah. that is just a 50-50 yeah. clash. Yeah and no one's to blame and the goalkeeper's been brave this the forwards try to get the get the advantage it's not a foul no no it was a shame that he took the heavy touch wasn't it because it i mean he shouldn't chance. have taken it no i totally agree i get that he shouldn't have taken the heavy touch and tyler was it's his, his, his mistake really that he had to stretch in the first place but it wasn't a foul for no. goodness me that is mackenzie hunt Everton still very much in this game. Approaching the midway point in the second half. Everton nil, Arsenal one. That's a poor ball from Bradley, Bradley Moonen. Easy for me to say. Hope he doesn't see much of the ball. <laughs> for him. Again, this time the uh, Lions' flag is up on this near side. Ah, it's the old cardinal sin. Say it every time. If you're yep. a wide player and you're looking across the line, you cannot be offside. Nope. You can see it all, can't you? And we again bringing the ball forward. Henry Francis to. Walters. What are your thoughts on tomorrow's game? Diamond, it's clearly, clearly a winnable game, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. We're in this, we're in this last 16 of the Carabao Cup. Yep. We've just beaten Brentford at their own place. Two away wins on the spin. I think Goodison Park will be bouncing. Yeah, be I think the on. Toffees will be absolutely... Yep desperate to shut their eyes tonight yeah wake up in the morning and think great it's match day yeah get to goodison let's park. go let's get to goodison park let's get a create an unbelievable down the correct park. let's create an atmosphere because this is a wonderful opportunity for us to get another three points on the board and potentially put a little bit of a gap yeah. and, and we shouldn't we shouldn't look at no, but we have to like be, pragmatic, but we have to be pragmatic about yeah. it. We're not going to go from nearly getting relegated twice in two years to being in the top six. We have yeah. to be pragmatic about it. We have to be re realistic. All Evertonians want, just give us a year where we're not sat there panicking. <laughs> yeah. That's all we want, yeah. really, don't we? Yeah. We just want, okay, let's have a right good go in the Cups yeah. and give yeah. us a year of consolidation where we're not sat with two or three games of the season thinking, oh my God, seriously, we could go down. We don't, don't want that. We don't want another season where, at some point during the season, we've supported every other team in the league. Yeah. If you mention to me about the bottom three teams ever again, <laughs> that's a decent ball. It was a chance, chance for Mecca. Chance. Isaac Heath oh, blocked away for a corner. We've had chances tonight, Graham. No, we have had chances, and that was a wonderful chance. It really was. Jensen Mekoff had the first one. He missed his kick. I can forgive Jensen's one because it was a difficult one. The ball whipped in, and he's like, go. you know, he's trying to go with it with his 
with his right foot there. It's a difficult one. That one's the chance, but credit to the defender. I can't yeah. quite see who the defender was at the time. But ground. He's done really well. He is a better angle here. In comes Garty the corner kick. The oh, oh Karonko with the header. Oh, and it's oh. touched wide by Bradley Moon. And I'm not sure the, I think the flag was up, you know. I think that was another chance gone begging, Graham. I think it was. Came I, I, at the him quickly. I mean, the linesman's put his flag up for a substitution that's yeah. about to yeah. be made for Arsenal there rather than the situation. This is the initial chance there. Metcalf yeah. misses his kick. Isaac Keith. Defender does well. Defender does well. He does really, really well. But from the resulting corner, the ball finds itself to the far stick. Michael Ron quote. One of those ones. I mean, it's tough. I mean, because yeah. they, they come at you at a million miles an yeah. hour. It's the in instinct more than anything. He didn't have time to, you know, to to really know what he's, he was doing. It was just stuck his foot out more than anything and hope for the best. Jack Henry Francis has gone off for the Gunners, and he's replaced by number 14, Miguel Aziz. Miguel Aziz early in his career had a loan spell that you would thoroughly approve of Diamond he spent a little bit of time in <laughs> with Club Ibiza in the second division in Spain what are you trying to say <laughs> explain yourself Daz what are you trying to say oh, dear. lovely part of the world <laughs> nice nice temperature you mean there's Walters Cl climate reasons imagine your agent saying Ibiza want you for six months yeah. go on yeah. I'll give it a go just a, just a six. <laughs> He's had two long spells away. Aziz, his other one was at Wigan. A <laughs> slight difference. Here he is, Miguel Aziz. What Great a shot! Pass. Oh my oh. goodness me! Right off the crossbar. And I tell you what, they'd have loved it in Ibiza, they'd have loved it in Wigan, and they'd have loved it in Arsenal if that would have gone in. What a super effort well, from we, the young man. We were absolutely right behind that. And Great it was shot. Absolutely wonderful effort from the young man. Ball gets played back to him here. One touch out of his feet, bang. Oh. Oh. And I said, I mean, I said, goal, great goal. Yep. As soon as he went off his foot, I yep. thought it was in. But fortunately for us, that crossbar comes to our rescue, and we're still in this game of 1 0. Here we go. Well done, Cassia. Intercepts it. Four and comes across the challenge. Cassia Kiati leads the challenge and just runs into Four and. Come on, Katia, come on. You've got to work harder when you, you've lost the ball. Work harder to get it back. Here's Mon Louis for the Gunners. Intercepted by Roman Dixon. Jensen Mekhoff trying to get goal side, but Norman Aziz is there. Sweet plays it forward. Looking for Cozier Dubry. Well watched by Roman Dixon. I haven't seen much of Tyler on Yango in the second half, Diamond, have we? We haven't mentioned him much. Oh, I mean, mentioned any of the midfield I mean, players. I much. mean, to be fair, it's been a half dominated by Arsenal, yeah. really. I mean, they've come out this second half a totally different outfit. Okoronkwo. Heath, wide to Okoronkwo again. Nice little pirouette from him. Turns away again and again. Heath. Working quite nicely in field to Butterfield. <laughs> Kenzie Hunt. Oh, the final ball is. Well, Isaac, Isaac Heath will keep it in because it hasn't drifted out of play, but it was super build up play from Everton. Still is. Metcalf. Good possession stuff from the Toffees. And they get around the back, Jensen Mekhoff, but he fouls his man, it's a free kick for Arsenal. And it's a shame because that was good, patient, accurate yeah, passing build-up. It was a decent, decent build-up play from us there, especially on this left-hand side earlier where Mackenzie Hunt eventually got a ball into the box. We've just seen this chance earlier on from Arsenal where the ball cannoned off the crossbar, which would have put the game beyond our reach, if you would have thought. As it stands, it's still just a 1-0. Jensen Metcalf trying to bulldoze his way through and uh, yeah, you, but you, the defender goes down, the referee's always going to give a free kick yep. to the Arsenal players. Well, 
Walters in field, bit of, place, bit of space for James Sweet, back to Walters again. Tango tracks back into corner for Arsenal, 15 minutes to go. Still in this game. If it had been a bit more clinical early doors, this is a different game, Dan. Of course it is, and that's why you can't just you know you can't just like put your hands on your knees and go, oh unlucky, unlucky. No. Forget all that. Be ruthless. Run around and put your arms up in the air because you put us one nil up. Don't put your hands on your knees. Mm. Regrets. Doesn't matter whether it's the first thirty seconds or the sixty first minute, whatever it is. Be ruthless. Corner kick. And it comes, headed away by Metcalf. Susan. Intercepted by Dixon. Still working hard, the Everton players. And uh, that's a nice sight over on the far side. Liam Higgins is about to come on. Another player who's had awful luck with injuries. Nice to see him back in action. Cozier Dubry's had enough of Roman Dixon. He's come on this now side to put himself up against Mackenzie Hunt. Are we going to get one diamond? 14 minutes to go. Well, I mean, look, chance, it, isn't it? It's still a chance. I mean, one nil. I mean, it's the best it could po possibly be, given the fact that Arsenal, in my opinion, have been dominant in the second half. I mean, we had one or two opportunities. Of well, course, so we should have now, one here too. Here we go. Francis Ocaron quote. Oh dear me! Doesn't play the right ball. And Souza, well, that's not going to go out of play. Isaac, he's snapping away. Souza gets a bit of help off his mate. We haven't made the best of opportunities time and again. I, I, I look at Okamonko there, he, just be selfish. I mean, he's, he's tried to play his mate in, I get that, but you're a centre forward. You, you're bearing down on goal 20 yards out. We've seen what happened at the other end, haven't we? Anything yeah, can happen. Exactly, go and have a shot. Again, Isaac Heath foraging away, trying to win possession for Everton. You know, you look at it, Daz, right? When you, we, I mean, we've got statisticians coming out of our ears at the club and, yeah. and what have you. You know, when I'm Ockham Ronco uh, tomorrow, I'm looking at it and thinking, how many shots did I have on target? Yeah. You know, uh, did I have any on target? Did I have a, any attempts on goal? When they turn around to you and say, well, you had oh, one. What a lovely touch inside the penalty area. Gets it back, Cozy Dubri back on that left hand side, trying to dribble his way through Roman Dixon. Eventually, the ball cannons back to. Billy Crenn, yet yeah, the message is always said before buy a ticket, you've got a just chance of winning. Look, the prize. Uh, this is what I say I, I've said it for years and years and years. Your accountability as a wide man, put crosses in the box, be a threat, help you help, help you fall back, be everything you can possibly be as mm. a wide man. If you're a centre forward, how many shots have you had on target? How many, how many chances have you created? You know, if, it, if, if the numbers come in as ones and twos, you're not doing enough. Mm. And that's a reality, it's a reality reality check. Can you imagine Alan Shearer walking in after a game of football and saying, oh, do you know what, Alan, you only had that's one shot on target today. Absolutely. But here comes Mekhoff again. Super play by him. He's played well tonight, Jensen Mekhoff. Yeah, he yeah. wriggled his way out of a cul-de-sac down, and it was Miguel Aziz eventually that brought him down. But he was determined, and he had the ability to get himself out of a difficult situation, and he's won off at the free kick. I think he's probably been the pick tonight. He's definitely a talented boy. There's there's a little bit about him. I like yeah. his drive and his his desire and I like that about him. He's anyway, does you stole me thunder? I was rattling on about Shearer. Yes, absolutely. can you imagine yeah. Shearer coming in at, at the end of a game and somebody turned around to him and said, "You know yeah. what, Alan? You know, in the 90 minutes you just played, yeah. you only had one shot on target. Yeah. He'd be mortified." Yeah. Robbie Fowler. Yeah. Mortified. Mm. Les Ferdinand, mortified. You have to, uh, you have to develop a selfishness, don't you? Andy Cole. Imagine people like that. Mm. One shot. You're going to have one shot all game. They wouldn't bother going out. <laughs> Free kick. Metcalf runs away from it. Mackenzie Hunt pays him in. Great ball in. Oh, into the arms of the goalkeeper. It's a little bit of invention from the free kick diamond. Don't mind that. Yeah. A bit unfortunate crosswise because the keeper, in fairness to the keeper, he read it quite well. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of a stoppage here as well, yeah. Daz. Taylor yeah. Foran is injured. Yeah. Substitute for us as well. Yep. I think this is, this is uh, Liam, Liam Higgins, Higgins coming Higgins on. He's about to come on now. And, uh, is it Jensen Meckhoff that's going off? 
Well, he's just going for a drink. A little drinks break for both sets of players. And uh, <laughs> Taylor Fawn has just been yellow carded as he was getting his treatment. I don't know what that was for. I don't know whether that was for dissent or he's kicked the ball away. You, you, you don't really know these days, do you? Absolutely no idea, Dan. No. He's been yellow carded, though. And uh, it's Tyler on Yango who's made way. And Liam Higgins is on for Everton. Another live wire, Liam, Liam Higgins. He'll leave nothing out there. He scored a couple of goals last season when he got his opportunity. got 10 minutes to work our way back into this game if we can keep creating chances and half chances one's gonna go in you'd like to think Graham but but you're, you're right we need to be more selfish more clinical yeah I mean that, that's what it's all about we've got to be that at first team level at every level possible the hardest thing in the world is to put the ball in the back of the net that's why centre forwards yeah. get paid fortunes um. Come on, Everton. Nine and a half minutes, but there will be added time in this half, that's for sure. Aziz gives it straight to Butterfield. Butterfield turns into space. It's all ahead of him. Waits for a run. Plays it to the feet of Okoronkwo. Now, what's he got? Trying to dribble his way through. Does really well. Good play, Frank. Okoronkwo. The cross comes in from Higgins. It's blocked. He gets a second bite at the cherry. That's won a corner, has he? Yes, he has. Yeah, it's a good start from Liam Higgins yeah. there. The ball, Okoronkwo did really well there. Won the ball. Yeah. Good centre forward play plays the ball out wide goes for the return and it was just about cut out from Liam Higgins there as the ball came in towards Ocomonco but it's resulted in us getting a corner nine minutes remaining plus any added on time here comes the corner headed away by four now then that can't have that we can't have that no Standing no no watching. no Dixon will get there first before Jimmy Gower, that's for sure. Well, fortunately, we had Roman Dixon at the back there, yeah. and the ball was played through, obviously not realising that Roman's super quick and no one was ever going to do him, but initially, you've got to win the ball. Here he goes again. Cozy do a great run. And again, he slams it into the side netting. He's been the difference, Graham. No, I mean, he's, he's, he's an outstanding player, there's no doubt about it. He's the shining light on a yeah. relatively steady evening should we yes, say yeah you know no they've got no, better haven't they yeah they, they Arsenal have definitely got better there's no doubt about it there's been a, some decent performances on the park but when people walk away from the ground tonight they're going to talk about him and yep. not anybody else Ibrahim Eli Campbell's in there Mackenzie Hunt wins the loose ball Cassia Kiate turns nicely. Now here's an opportunity for Everton. Cassia Kiate bursting forward for the Toffees into the penalty area. Back to Isaac Heath. One touch to steady himself. Takes a deflection and it's a corner kick. But again, it could have been and should have been so much better. It should have been, yeah, of course it would. I mean, Cassia is for the, what, possibly one of the few times in the whole game he gets some fresh air in front of yeah. him and he drives into him I mean I'd, 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 I'd give him credit for picking out Isaac Heath there's no doubt about that it was the right decision he made but Isaac just couldn't get the finishing touch to it and that's the story of the game so far for yeah, us absolutely corner kick and it comes keeper stays on his line and there's the goal Boo. Everton have scored and it's Bradley Moonen the substitute scores his first goal in a royal blue jersey for the under 21s and he made the ball his, and he wasn't going to miss. Great moment for the young man. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, great for, great for him. Really, really delighted for him. It's a decent ball whipped in. Finds its way to the far post, and he rides out. Bang. He's a bang. Determination, I love yeah. that. A determination to be the man who's going to win the ball and to bang it in the back of the net. This will be a great view. Absolutely fantastic goal from him. Look, look at goes. him, look how wow. determined he was, yeah. it didn't matter that the keeper was coming out, he had one eye on the ball and that was it, forget the keeper, I'm, if I get if I get my nose broke, I'll get my nose broke. If he can give the ball away on the edge of the penalty area, Jimmy Gower, Ibrahim, Cozy Dubri, on to Souza, into the penalty area, comes off Eli Campbell, somehow back heads it across goal, and Mackenzie Hunt can uh, bring it away for Everton. Taking a bit of a chance. 
Penned in here. And it'll be a corner kick for Arsenal. I, mean, I think in the situation with 84, 85th minute now, I mean, sometimes, McKenzie, Any you've just got to do. clear your lines and, yeah. you know, you've got yourself back into the game. Let's not try and be too clever about it. But, again, we Here's see the, the desire. Yeah. Get yourself in there, 1-1. Just a, It's a lesson to Arsenal. You yeah. know, they, they've been on top all second half and they've not put the game to bed. Could have been 3-3 this game easily. Easily, yeah. Five minutes to go. Jimmy Gow with the corner kick. Four and heads it over the crossbar. And uh, it's gone into the houses behind the goal. The goal kick for Everton. And still great with five minutes to go. This could still go either way. Well, it could go either way. It's as simple as that. I mean, we've been the better side first half. They've been the better side second half. Both, both teams have had better opportunities yeah. than perhaps the yeah. goals that they've scored. Yeah, definitely. But you know what? The, the lads, the Evan players, they 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 stuck they in, there, in, haven't they? Yeah, They're I was going to say they do dig in. That's that's one thing that we would also respect and expect from Everton by players. You know, say picked up by Okoronko. Is there a sting in the tail here? Okoronko, good play. Well done, Francis. To Jensen Mekov pulls the trigger. It was ambitious. And Arsenal can bring it away. Isaac Heath intercepts the clearance. Liam Higgins picks it up. Jimmy Gower follows him. Higgins takes him on. He's away from him. Not the best cross, though. Straight at the goalkeeper. But again, good hold-up play by Okoronko. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he, he, again, he's a talented boy, Okoronko. I still oh, think there's the more. Space. still think there should be more from him, but he's a talented boy. Chance here. Kozia Dubry. Well done, Roman Dixon. Really well done. Really well done. Oh, oh here we go. Now, so, here's an opportunity. Okoronko. Oh, oh that's couldn't find the pass. Telegraph. So frustrating. What an opportunity that is. Tells you do be at the other end. Outnumbered. Plays it back to Souza. Back to Cozy Adubri again. It's all happening at uh, the Big Help Stadium here in Southport. Three and a half minutes to go, plus added time. There'll be about four or five minutes given the substitutions and the injuries that we've had. So this game is very much in the melting pot. Souza. Miguel Aziz. Been on the bench for the first team, Miguel Aziz. A couple of these boys have. Walters, well, that's sloppy. Okoronko. That's possessed. Two and a half minutes to go and counting. Some tired minds out there. Gower. Dixon thought about making the challenge and eventually he did make the challenge and he done well again, Roman Dixon. Yeah, he did just about did, did the right thing, didn't he? Because one for one horrible moment. If he makes the I early challenge, he's going to give penalty. a penalty away. But uh, he just held himself there, did Roman Dixon and done well in the end. Important now. 88 minutes yeah. on the clock. Got to concentrate. Do not lose the game. It all boils down to this. Next goal, the winner. Corner kick. In it comes, decent. Headed away by the man of the moments, Bradley Moonen. Moments he'll never forget. Miguel Aziz. Susan. Another substitution for Everton coming up. Oh, yep. oh goodness me! Take it with we could have just got that ball. Kiate was right in there. Into the box it comes, and it comes off Bradley Moon. And I tell you what, Graham, there's going to be a goal in this for Correct. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> We're a minute away from the 90. Well, you'd have to say from what I've just seen there, Arsenal are going all guns blazing. Yes, and they are. We'll see what happens. But if we're clever enough yep, and we're bright enough, we might just hit them on the counter attack here. Clock counting down. Here 
Bancroft clears his lines. Has he been the pick tonight for you, Graham? Jensen Metcalf? Yeah, Metcalf's been good. I, I, as I said, I, I like him as a player. He's got a lot of attributes that I like in players. Here we go. Offside. Yeah. Oh, didn't get there in the end. But no, I, I, I like him. He's decent. Substitution here, Dar Dazzler. Jack Patterson for Francis Okoronkwo. And I think that's just a, a tightening up of the midfield. Jack Patterson likes to tackle, likes to cover the ground. Be six minutes of added time. He's done well tonight, Roman Dixon as well, Graham, hasn't he? Because he's, he's been up against the best player on the pitch. Yeah, he's been up against the best player on the park, and in the main, he's actually done all right. I yeah. mean, I mean there's, there's no doubt about it. He's, you know... Oh, that oh, yeah. the back to the keeper. Amari, Amar, Amari Ocosia Dubry. Ocosia Dubry is the best player on the pitch yeah. by a street. But in Fred fairness, on a, as in one-on-ones, yes, yeah. Roman's done all right. You know? Yeah, he has. what you say gentlemen Arsenal certainly haven't settled for a share of the spoils here have they they want to make the long long journey back to North London this evening on the bus with three points alongside them and pressing forward Souza Ibrahim Yes, it is. It's a good ball in as well. It's got to be dealt with. Higgins only to the edge of the box. Picked up by Souza. Souza lays it off. Jimmy Gower takes over. Can't get a shot away. Edwards might. And Edwards does. It's a good save, Billy Krellin. A oh, really good save from Billy Krellin. Nice and strong on his near post there. Stood up. Good pass by Ibrahim in behind the full back range. Yeah, to set it all up. Good work on the right hand side from Ibrahim. Yeah, slid the ball in and the ball eventually found itself. Good into the box save. there. It was a good, good save from Billy Krellin. Nice and strong. Good, good hands. Edwards there. Yep. Good little turn. But Billy Krellin equal to it. But it's a results in an Arsenal corner. Billy Krellin might be needed again here. Be, Jimmy Gower will take this corner kick. Another away by Metcalf. Isaac Heath triples the ball out of play. Aziz, good ball in. Bradley Moonen heads it away. Arsenal win it again. Edwards is on side. Mackenzie Hunt for Everton. Plays it back to Campbell. And Campbell will just empty it forward. High in the air. Isaac Heath goes oh, oh, That's not a foul. That's not a foul, that's not that not a foul, foul no. by any. Again, if you play the game, you know that's not a foul. Miscontrolled it, didn't he? He's they? miscontrolled it and he's run into him. It's not, it's not a foul, he's just run into the player. Well, as he is. Back to James Sweet. Back to Tyler Foran. <laughs> Never a foul, is it? I, just, I wish they hadn't shown me the replay. The head's <laughs> going to come off. <laughs> We've had three and a half minutes of the added six. It's been a decent game here. Premier League 2 football on a Friday night. Live on the Everton YouTube channel with me, Darren Griffiths and Graeme Stewart. But danger for Everton. Right at the death here. Good block by... Luke Butterfield, great to see him get 90 minutes in as well, by the way. But Arsenal are looking by far the more likely. Is that why Paul Tate brought Jack Patterson on and took Okoronko off? Did he accept that Arsenal were finishing the strongest, so he just wanted to tighten it up? Possibly, possibly. I'm not so sure that I'd be going down that road myself, because it tells me that we're trying to hang on, and yeah. as opposed to try and go and win it. Tatey knows about his players and far more than me, so there might be a, a reason behind it. But if you're going to win a game of football at 1-1, you want to keep your centre forward on the pitch, don't you? Well, Everton have had two tough home games in Premier League 2 in the last seven days. Norwich City at Walton Hall Park, who went there in great form. 
and Arsenal who have come here to Southport in just as good form and uh, Everton look likely to take four points from the two games so we can see out the closing 90 seconds and it could be a big if with Cozier Dubry on the ball Gower is on side Souza Cozier Dubry back to Souza again 60 seconds to go Higgins goes along to hurry Souza along and Souza has to go back to Mon Louis. And have regrouped resolutely. And Dixon's got to win it, he doesn't. And Cozy Dubri runs out of space. Well well done. Again. As we said, one on one, but Roman Dixon's done great uh, against yep. Dubri. He's yep. done fine. He's done really, really well. All, do, all Cozy Dubri's good work has been away from Roman Dixon, hasn't it, really? Yeah. Which is all credit to Roman. Oh, I think we'll have the last one of the I last kicks say, of the game. This should pretty much be it now. We're literally 15 seconds of added time left. But again, they've dug in and stuck at it, haven't they? They have. Credit to the boys. They have. They. They, they have. They've done really well to dig in and get ourselves a point, which uh, we'll get now as the referee has yeah. blown the whistle for the 96 minutes. Decent point on the night, does I think so, yeah. Everton shaded the first half, Arsenal shaded the second. Probably a fair result as the respective coaches shake hands. And all our attentions now will turn to the Premier League and Everton against Luton Town at Goodison Park tomorrow. Myself and Ian Snowden will provide full audio commentary from the kickoff of 3 o'clock. We'll get some reaction on EvertonFC.com from Paul Tate on tonight's game. It's ended all square at the Big Help Stadium in Southport. Premier League 2 football on a Friday night. Everton 1, Arsenal 1. Thank you for watching.